Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week. We've got Academy 3 visiting Exeter. Our first two bowlers are ready to go. Paul Grant is going to be on the mic. Format for tonight's affair, three strings worth two points apiece, plus total pins for two. Paul, are you ready? Ready to rock and roll, Bob. One All point right. for a tie underway. Extra Lanes, Shooters Pub Sports Bar, Exeter, New Hampshire. Great place to bowl, great place to hang out. Lanes 10 and 11. J.B. Gauthier sporting the new haircut. 6-10 right, seven, left, uh, 7 went down, so it's 6-10, spare chance. Jonathan, 5 in the first ball, 1 in the second. J.B. for a spare, got it the unconventional way. He'll take it. Missed left it. Got a break. Jonathan, nice 10, pretty shot. This is number 2, Exeter Lanes. Number 5, Academy 3 out of Haverhill, Mass. And Pub 125. They're having a good season. They're coming in 117-90. Extra coming in at 158 and 58. They're 13 out of first place. Central 3. And next Friday night, we're going to see Central 3 and Central 2. Friday night Pro League. I'm sorry, Metro. Metro at Central 3 next Friday night. As Jonathan spins 9, oh. 5 goes down. JB on the bonus 6 with a 2 2 split. 2 4 left, 6 10 right. And now one more went down, so make it 7 on the fill. Okay. 2 6 10, 17 through 1. They're up 7. Jonathan for spare. He's got it. Yes. 20 in the ball through two. JV, nothing doing with the wood this time. <sighs> JV gets nine. He's at 26 through two. Six pin lead minus a ball for Academy Three on the road here at Exeter. So again, next Friday night, just to let you know, Metro, the eighth spot, takes on Number one, Central 3, Central Park Lanes, East Boston Mass Friday Night Pro League, Game of the Week, next Friday at 7.30 on Canlop and Bowling Network in high definition on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. It's always free, never a charge. Canlop and Bowling Network and YouTube. Get hey. your friends also. Just hey, up. Paul, here's Slinky. You know, a sub role for... Uh, Sean McKinley filling in. Jay Simino was supposed to fill in tonight for Dave Barber. Here's Scott Lepley filling oh, in. He starts oh. up with a strike. Picking up where he left off in the Pro Series Absolutely. at Alicat Lanes in Kingston. He won a sixth Pro Series title. Strong start. Bowls very well, home and away. McKinley, three, five, six, trying on lane 11. He grabs two for a nine. Early seven pin lead, one mark piece. Academy three has the lead in the red shirts. We'll go over the standings and playoff scenarios later on. McKinley, nice pocket shot. Can't get the four to go left. 6-10 right. Scott, Rapier on a strike. One for two, gets nine. Same spot takes it. The king is the five. That was a great ball, doesn't he, Bob? Absolutely. He, he's been sixth pro series. Six pro series, yep. Six, first one in the wild, wow. he's won six now. Are you just and he beat, actually, Sean McKinley, who's next to him on the right. He got a good try there, just missed. Oh, man. When he got through his 207 high single, it was against Sean McKinley in the Pro Series playoffs. Okay. Where he won it? Where he won that match? Right on the fill. Missed that chance. 19 through 1. McKinley gets a 9. 17 through 2. Or 18 through 2, 18 make it. Through. My mistake. Yep. And Scott, the first Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third for a 10. 29 through 2 in the first of 3. The playoffs May 21st on Canopy Bowling Network in high definition on YouTube and on Facebook. Sunday, May 21st. Mark your calendars. May 21st, 10 a.m. start. All coverage, all the rounds. Eight teams out of 12 make it. Left-handed Eric Pelletier for the number two seed. Extra lanes, 1-3-6. Here's Captain Dave hodge Malian. 2-4, spare opportunity. Pelletier. Got it. Spare to start his match. Haji to answer. Spins left. Just getting back for uh, a road show he did today for New England flooring and backsplashes. We'll talk to him later on about that. He gets an eight. Two great teams. Two versus five. Five has the lead early on. Eric coming in with an overall league average 113.62, 112.72. 
overall, 113.62 is, is way average, which they go by the standings. Six in the fill, 16 through one. Audrey for a strike, he gets nine. He has the five also. That Scott had a moment ago, but Scott missed it. He's got wood to help. Eric, tough leave. Grabs the tennis, the three nine right, seven left. Audrey gets it to go. 18 the ball through two. Early in the match. Eric gets one on the object pin for a pair of eights. A correction, eight right at the sphere, six, 24 through two. Sphere, six, eight, 24 through two. Eight and a spare for Haji. Now here the fourth ball is. A couple of legends here, Paul. Yes, certain, sure, first ballot Hall of Famer Jeff Surrett. Have a great, great season. Third in average in the league. Smooth ball as always, eight, and a great opportunity with the wood in front of the 6'10. Right, Here's the Rockhead Woodside, veteran bowler. Tucks down the 6'9, 10. Surrett, spare. Woodside goes left, leaves at the one and the three. Jeff averaging 124.26 overall average, 122.58 away. Woodside gets a 10. At averaging 113.62 overall, 112.72 away. In a high single of 162 this season, we've had that match on Candlepin Bowling Network a few weeks ago. Dangerous bowl is still bowling a very high level. Sret on the spare. Hits the pocket, only five. 15 through one. Woodside just missed the left side of the head pin. He has the one, three, eight as the 10 falls. Sorry for the mark, just missed inside. We got it, got it. 25 and a ball through two. Strong start, what else is new? Woodside, he gets a go. Eight falls last. Wood claps into it. 20 and a ball through two. Great match here, Bob, tonight. Leads down to six now for the moment. Two marks apiece. Executive producer of Kenneth Moe Network, right to my left, Bob Lee. Doing a great job as always. Captain, the anchor balls rather. Pete Crawford Jr. on the left. Chris Bovere on the right. Early in the first. Head pin hit, slam seven, make it eight. Push that seven down, Deep six ten, spare there, chance. Yeah. Angled Wood. Crawford in the strike zone, breaks up the split. He has the three, five, six triangle. Should be a layup for Bovere. And he's got it. Spare to start his match. Crawford Jr. for a spare right in the middle. So three of the five balls have let off of the mark for Exeter. Exeter. Crawford and eight. Leads down to four ball, right? And now Academy three by four. 101.97. Scores in your screen. The yellow marks you see in the boxes are the spares and or strikes. It's three apiece, a three to two rather, for Exeter on the right. So they have the virtual lead. Lemon drop. I went that way, I thought my first ball, I was gonna pay. Every one time he takes me, I pay. Nice oh. ball, nine. Lead change. 19 through one, they lead by five. Crawford in the head pin, he gets a three two split. A very unusual lead, four eight left, three six ten right. Bovey Alex Rett trying to go back to back to start the match. And drills it through. 29 of the ball through two. Crawford, tough leave. Punched up the six. Over the shore, two now on the left. Crawford going for all four. Missed it for a six, just 14 through two. Update, top of the order as they switch sides with Bob Lee. All right, well, Exeter just took the lead with that uh, big 19 box and the spare, two spares for Chris Bovair. It is now 116 to 109. Three spares on the board for Exeter, two for Academy Three. Second time through the order now. Back to our leadoff bowlers. Jonathan Boudreau and JB Gothier now, now on lane 11. JB in on the head pin, splits him. It's a spread eagle minus a tail feather. Jonathan Woodrow. That one, yeah. Go ahead, Paul. I'm oh, sorry, Bob. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
work on a few few pieces of equipment. Okay, John, I think it's three on the spare. 23 through two. We'll fix that scoreboard in just a moment. Two, four, six, ten for JV. Jason Gothia Jr., a great young bowler on the rise from Western Mass. Supposedly moving to Maine sometime in the near future. Slaps his size. He missed that object pin. Fierce competitor. Jonathan gets Nate. Thirty-one through three in the first of three on Canlipin Bowling Network in high definition on YouTube. We're also on Facebook, Canlipin Chat tonight. Share with your friends and family. Nothing like this great game of Canlipin Bowling, a sport for all ages. Great exercise and a lot of great relationships. Another split for JB. Four left. Three, six, ten right. Jonathan back in the pocket. Another split. This time it's the two, four, the six to the right. Jonathan averaging 118.90, overall 119.54, 119.54 away. JB, 117.97, 117.78 away. JB, nice out, gets nine. That puts him at 42 through four. John, two in the six. Missed left, trying to get the slice and dice. Wouldn't go for an eight. And with the spare still, he only has a 39 through four. Excellence donating 52 more dollars thanks to the donation bucket to Candle Pins for Cancer. Thank you, folks, for donating here at the alleys. In your local bowling center, if you do, don't have one, you can donate via Venmo 24-7. Candle Pins number four, cancer.com at 24 hours, seven days a week, 24-7. Candle Pins number four, cancer.com via Venmo. The bowl is 501c3 registered charity. Scott Lapierre, a strike nine, missed it for a spare, got the 10, 29 through two. At Woodside on the head pin, he has the five going down, he has the four, seven chance here. McKinley's up rather, I'm sorry, Woodside's up later on. McKinley. Last minute change for Jay Simino, gets a 10, or a spare rather. And Scott jumps out one for a nine. So let's get that corrected. So McKinley, 28 in the ball through three. Scott Lapierre, 38 through three. Brand new reading glasses, Bob. Got to get used to these. Uh-oh. First time wearing them. Okay, well, we got the we got the screen in front of you if you have to go to it. But yeah. Um, grease spots overhead, if you can make those out. Yeah, I tried to read without the glasses. That was my mistake. All right. San Fermin, Scott Lapierre. 3-1 split, 3 in the right, 2-4-7 left. McKinley drops down 4 on the spare, 32 through 4. Through 3. Excellent try, can't get to the 3. McKinley, after being injured out the last couple of years, trying to make a comeback. A great ball in his prime, a 129 former league bowler. He's got a 124. Up to 124, league bowler. Gets a 10. 48 through 4. McKinley a 6. And that's a Paul Granfill, a spare 4 and a 6 box. 38 through 4 here in the first. Friday Night Pro League, game of the week on Kennel and Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. Hit that like and follow button as well. Appreciate comments on the screen. Let us know how we're doing. If the sound or video's off, please let us know as we try to bring it to you live stream every Friday night. Dave hodge Mallon a two fill in the spare, 20 through two. Eric Pelletier had a spare six, to, spare six to start eight box, now he's in the third box for a string. Hey, Hodge. Nice delivery, just missed the 10. Nice pickup. The captain, 10, 30 through 3. Pelletier right on, hangs his onto the ground. Almost went down, held his balance. Nice 10, 34 through 3. Ben Witts, thanks for watching. Wendy Frazier, Mike Nardone, Jr. watching. Doreen Lane, oh, thanks for watching also. 
Haji off to the right, takes down six, one, two, five, nine. Pelletier got the 90 going back of the three, seven, ten post. Doreen Wunsch from Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, home of the World Tournament last November, one of the best you'll ever see. A match for a lifetime on Canada Bowling Network, the finals. A plus accounting, Fenway Academy, a must see match. I just missed on that spare bid, Paul. Eric trying to give it a ride. Oh, so close. All right, Ben, thanks for the uh, check on the audio. Thank you very much. Hodge and nine, Pelletier gains with a 10. 44 for Eric, 39 for Hodge. Okay, leads up to 12 now for Exeter. Both Jeff Surrett and Ed Woodside, number four bowlers, are on spares. What a year, uh, Jeff Surrett's having 124.26, third best overall average, 122.58 away from Exeter. Now he has Ed Woodside. Steals nine. Oh. Seven pin left up. Surrett in the bonus. Beautiful ball. He's got the setback shot. Spear five, spear seven, 32 through two. Woodside for a spare. He missed oh, no. it. They missed a couple of singles. Yeah, double wood just didn't, didn't swing right for him. Jeff, three in a row. Good try. That's not an easy shot. And Woodside missed the second, make the third. I'm not saying it, but you know what that means. 10, 39 through three. Jeff picks it up for a 10. 42 through three. Ed's high series this year, 383. Jeff's high series, how about a 454 last week? Amazing performance. 408 two weeks ago, so back-to-back -back 400s. And in week 12, he had a 412. Woodside with eight, wood between the four left, eight right. Surrett and Lane 10 here at Exeter. Another pocket shot, six. It's a diamond, minus one, minus two. Now it's a half Worcester with wood to help in between the two and the eight. Woodside for a spare. This time he gets it. Spare in the second, spare in the fourth. And you look at a three in a row. 49 in the ball through four. Surrett. Oh, what was wrong with that shot, Bob? Wow. I, I wish I had numbers on those half Worcester conversions when you, when you have the half Worcester left. And he had the wood with a two, but didn't carry. Yeah. He gets a 10. 52 through four. He's perfect so far. All right, see if Peter Crawford can reset here. He had a six in the second box, eight in the first, just 14 through two. Meanwhile, Chris Bovere, spare nine in the spare in the purple shirt for Exeter. We'll give you an update from Bob Lee in the spare strike situation after these next two boxes. Crawford, just three. A little bit off so far. What a year he's had. Bovere just missed left. Takes out the 6-10. It's the 1-3, 9-10 10 on the bonus, 35 through 2. Crawford, good second ball, has the 5 and the 7. Rivera missed inside, got the 8, has the 1-3 and the 7. Crawford takes the 7 pin down for a 9, just 23 through 3 in the first of 3. Chris, nice out, slides the violin bow, short of the seven, right to left for a nine, 44 through three. One mark to none, favors Academy three. You're down 16 right now. Crawford overdue for a mark, goal post. Oh. Get some right. wood to work with though, so we can spin it over. Tip right of that wood on the right. The angle may be right for him to poke it in the eye. Oh. Meanwhile, in lane 10, Chris Bovera leaves up the one and the nine, a manageable spare chance. He's got a, a cue shot with that piece on the, the, the piece that's down on the right. Go right into the seven. Beautiful shot, but it won't go. He went the other way. Chris Lee was third spare in four boxes to start the match. And he nails it. Wow. Power ball. 54 and a ball through four. One spare for each side now. Crawford gets a 10. 
Just four, uh, 33, 33 through four. Back to the top of the order, and every two boxes completed, we get an update okay, from Mr. Game. Bob Lee. Another game there for uh, Chris Bovair, and uh, Exeter's got the lead up to 16. You see it on the screen right now. Um, one mark apiece on the board, Bovair's and Ed Woodside for Academy 3. Heading into the third time through, I'm gonna work on uh, getting a full score out on this side. Let's see. There you can see all the bowlers. John Pedro, one, two, four as the four goes down. Now it's the one, two, and the eight. Need a spare in the second. Just a three fill. 39 through four, JB, four horsemen, and a post. Well, actually, you could say a post with the eight pin. Pedro gets a spare. 49 of the ball through five. JB hits the head pin only. Too accurate. He's at 42 through four coming in. One spare for each side. JB, nice out. Pretty tang. Outstanding. Tens don't get enough appreciation. 52 half. JB, 115.97, like I said earlier. Overall average, 117.78 average away. Boudreaux drills nine, just missed the four. A little nudge on the spare, 58 half. JB in the crossover, at least up the three middle, five left, six right. Jonathan eighth in average, 118.90. Overall away average, even better, 119.54. That's one 400 this year, a 407. For two in a row, he's got it. JB in the middle again. Too accurate once again. Sniper shot. Jonathan 68 and a ball through six. Jonathan heating up here in Exeter. JB skip lobs it, which is legal for a nine. 61 through six on Candlepin Bowling Network. Hey, Paul. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I got to talk about that. Thank you for having me, bud. The state tournament coming here to Extra Lanes from April 8th through May 4th. The finals, May 11th, May 12th. Coverage on Canopin Bowling Network. The championship matches in off and on between April 8th and May 4th. Contact Extra Lanes for more information. We'll give the phone number and the website if you want to get a piece of paper and pen ready. We'll give you the information in a couple of minutes. McKinley with a triangle up here. Another strike. Second strike of the match. And they're in the first. McKinley for a spare. Missed right. Scott, 58 half plus two. He can pound that strike zone, Bob. I, I'm appreciating it more and more. I've covered him quite a bit in Maine and uh, obviously Friday nights, but this guy is a warrior. McKinley a nine, 47 half. Had a spare four in the third. So after this box, folks, get a pen and paper out ready. We'll give the address or the uh, address and the website and the phone number to contact Extra Lanes for the April 8th to May 4th state tournament championships mckinley on the crossover takes down six three nine half worcester in the corner post lapia on a strike another good ball nine once against the five he missed it last time in, in the first box when he got a strike can he get it this time mckinley with the wood he got it slides perfectly in the seven how about that shot He's a shot maker. 57, the ball through six, Lapia nails it this time. A big 20. 68 through five, 78 and the ball through six. All right, so the website is Go Celt, like Celtics, Go Celt, C-E-L-T, at Comcast.net. That's Rob Ficari, Go Celt, G-O-C-E-L-T, at Comcast.net, or call Extra Lanes, area code 603-772. 3856 603-772-3856. New Hampshire State Tournament coming here to X Lanes April 8th to May 4th. Pelletier 7, 245. Haji 1, 310. Pelletier can't get the five to go. Wood goes right behind it. Good bid. Haji missed right. Hodge with the one, Pelletier with the five. He gets the 10 box. Three tens in a row, 54 half. Hodge and nine, 48 half. Eric, a great, very good pinner. 
Dangerous bowler, 16 after one. Now four straight without a mark at eight and three tens. Averaging 112.83 overall away, similar, 112.75. There's a strike. Oh, what a rip. Haji pocket shot eight. Five right, eight left. Wood angled, could be tricky. Eric 64 plus two through six. The top three bowlers are on marks. And their anchor bowler, Chris Provera, and a spare when he comes up in a little bit. Haji trying to turn that wood around. And it goes too far right. Tough break. Not an easy one. Haji gets it the second time. No fault of his own. Missed the second, make the third. 10, 58 through 6. Four marks to two for Exeter. They have the lead right now by 16. Jeff Threat. Beautiful ball again. One, two, spare chance. Great opportunity for his third mark. Ed Woodside, right in the middle, gets seven. Got a break. That's on a bonus. 56 through four. One, two, four, seven, Threat. Splits the upright spare. Third spare in the half. 62 in the ball. Woodside, another one. Back to back, three out of four. 66 half plus one. Boy, boy, these guys are fun to watch, aren't they? They are the best by definition. I mean, there are a few guys up in Maine and Canada that can't, obviously can't get here. But this is Boston's premier, premier sports league in Candleman. Jeff pulls down eight, two in the seven, baby split on the spare, 70 half. Woodside just missed left, gets five. Not too shabby, 71 half himself. Threat for another one. Oh, what's wrong with that shot? Wow, he can't believe it. Wow. Woodside, two full, took out the one nine, leads up the three six ten. Jeff ten eighty through six. Woodside nine, also eighty through six. What a great battle for the fourth there. bowlers. What? That, that's a great matchup. It's a matchup for all time there. Yeah. Chris Bovere on the right. He's got three marks and four boxes, sitting on one right now. 54 in a ball. Peter Crawford Jr. trying to get some going, something going here. 33 through four. Here. Eight, six. Start. Nine, 10. Nine and 10 since. Bovere, beautiful shot. Wood drops down the 10, almost got the strike. Nine fill, 63 through four. And a spread eagle plus the eight. Bob feels like the ACST like yesterday. That match yesterday we had with right. Bob Allen. Oh, Chris okay. ran miss. First chink in that armor. Peter again chops out the six. So a tough start. Bolvier gets the ten. Seventy. Three half. Big Crawford, a tough five. 38 half. Unthinkable. He has a 227 six strike more performance from Millis earlier this year. Has the high triple, 453. And obviously the high single, 227, second in the average. But a strange game, isn't it, Bob? He's off the target so far, though. Rhythm comes, and so does luck. Over there, 37 miles an hour, the Bob Lee radar gun, courtesy of Bushnell. Eight, two in the seven, Crawford steals eight. Crawford Chance here, blocking two in the five. Sorry, Bob. Crawford also show, throwing 37. Little mini, mini split here. This one goes, we don't have numbers on it, but uh, goes about a little less than half the time for pro. Oh, just missed it, what a try. A game of millispecs, isn't it, Bob, sometimes? That close. Great effort. Crawford trying to get in the board. Nope. And he missed it. Unthinkable start. Losing his mind on lane 10. Yep. Been there, done that. Bovea gets the 10. What a start for him. 83 through 6. 
Crawford, nice out, 10, just a 48 through six. Right now, start for him. Update, as we switch sides, back to Bob Lee. All right, well, it's leads growing, 27 pins now for Exeter. Three, three marks to one, and one of theirs is a strike. We'll uh, switch over to camera two, see if we can get that. Yeah, there you can see the whole score. Uh, you see our leader, Chris Bovair, the anchor bowler for Exeter. Jeff Scott and Ed Woodside both had 80 through six. Scott LaPierre at 78 in the ball, though. We'll probably see pass him. Gauthier drops seven on his first. He's got a triangle right fronted by the six pin. Here's Jonathan Boudreau. 35 miles an hour on his tight spinning ball. He drops nine. That's on spare, Bob, too. That's right. Nice shot by J.B. Spare. Second mark of the string and a spare seven to start. 71 on the ball. Jonathan missed that chance. Very good pinner. Usually you can't make them all the time. But that really irks him. I know he does. And he got in the second time around. Always easy the second time around. That's a 10. After a spare nine. 89. 87? Uh, hold on. I couldn't see it here. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, spear nine and a ten, so eighty-seven through seven. Is that right? Yeah, okay. And look at this leave. Five and a seven, no wood, no luck on the bonus. Seventy-nine through seven for JB. Jonathan tried to get back again. The mark. One, three, seven, ten. Not easy. Give it a try. Jonathan, excellent try. Couldn't get to the seven. Valiant effort again. JB missed right for a nine box, 88 through eight. Jonathan gets the 10. 87 through eight. 97. No, I'm sorry, 97. Thanks, Bob. Okay, number two bowlers, Scott McKinley and Scott LaPierre. Sean McKinley and Scott LaPierre. We'll leave the total score up uh, as we close out. Scott, a strike, now a spare. He's at 78 in the ball through six. Sean McKinley on the spare, 57 in the ball through six. Oh, oh that's, I'm not going to say what okay, that is. Okay. Tuck the four pin out. On a spare, 79 through seven. Meanwhile, McKinley five, 62 through seven. Scott still has work to do, five standing. Sean, two, four, seven, both going for 10 boxes. Lapierre comes back, the ball hit the pin but wouldn't go for a seven. 86 through 7. McKinley at 8 box. 78 through 7. The lead is 34th. The number 2 seed Exeter over number 5 seed Academy 3 here at Exeter Lanes. Shooter Sports Club, Exeter, New Hampshire. Great place to bowl. Great place to hang out. 6 Columbus Ave, Exeter, New Hampshire. Also from the women's 30 annual Camelpins for Cancer. Women's 220 doubles event scratch. September 7th. 189 flap year. 5 2 split McKinley. Viewers may be wondering, the one mark left on the board is uh, in the three spot under Exeter. That means their third bowler, Eric Pelletier, has a strike. You can see it with the uh, the view I have now on the camera. When we're, when we're showing the uh, tighter view. Oh, what a shot that was! 189. Sometimes you can't make the easy ones. Missed a single pin for a spare earlier. You got that one. You got that one fill on the spare in a seven box. Nice recovery. 96 in the ball through eight. Big. Big choice here for McKinley. He's going for the middle. And he has a banana split lead for a six. 76 through eight. Yeah, you're always tempted to do that, depending on the situation. You go for the two. The, the two is the easier, easier pickup on either one of the sides, but you can get. <laughs> He's got left here, just dropped off $5 for his. Oh, spread eagle. Haji, 
Thank you, Scott, for that five dollar donation to Kale for Cancer on the lemon drop. Another strike. Spare fill. Good bid by Hodge on the Eagle. Pelletier, great offer, not accepted. All right, eight on the fill, 72 through six complete. Hodge is seven, 65 through seven. Pelletier, solid pinning, nine, 81 through seven. Academy three had the early lead in the first two boxes, all Exeter since then. Two five seven for Haji Pelletier in the pocket. Beautiful ball. Eight nine. Five pin left up for a spare. Haji for a spare. Oh, that won't go. Tough break. Pelletier gets his. Ninety one of the ball through eight here in the first of three on Canlopin Bowling Network. Haji ten. 75 through 8. All right, number four bowlers now. Um, by the way, Haji, who throws one of the, among, among the most ro rotations, which we don't have anything to measure, he throws 35 miles an hour, 38 for uh, Eric Pelletier. Uh, I would put uh, Haji's spin up there with, uh, with, with uh, Sean Taylor, among, among the pros that I've observed. Oh, spin. At Woodside, right side, 6 9 10. Sret, 1 6 9 10. Woodside try to come back door. He's up the 1 3. Sret got it. Great shot. That is a tough one. 90 to ball through 7. Woodside, 10. 90 through 7. Ed Woodside's high single 189, a high triple of 501, has a high five of 735 from, from Saugus, Massachusetts, one in East Boston. 5 2 split. Jeff takes down five on the spare. 95 through seven. Woods, oh, what a try that was. So right, another one, two full. Can't believe it. Two, four, seven, nine. Woodside in the channel for a nine. 99, is it 98? 99. 99. 99 through eight. Sret with a rare eight tonight. 103 through eight. He's the first one to the century mark. Exit number two seed, leads number five seed by 44. One spare for each side. Peter Crawford Jr. trying to get anything going here. It's off the radar so far, 48 through six. Ray Kippo coming back throwing three in a row. Chance here with the three, five, six triangle. Here's Chris Provere. Strong string he's having so far. He's got the setback shot. Only one pin left in the deck so far for Bovere. Crawford wraps around the six, that kind of a string. A snake bit too. It's been a little, little wild too. He's Just shaking his head there. But that one was not wild. Bovell trying to kick it over somehow. Not an easy shot. Just missed the five. Profit nine. 57 through seven. Bovell nine. Ninety-two through seven here in the first. Peter's average, one twenty-six point ten second, and average overall one twenty-three point oh seven away. Four-two split. Bovere, meanwhile, one eighteen point twenty-four twelfth, an overall average, away average rather, and one seventeen point nine away on the road. One two nine ten. Chris is a four thirty. It's only four hundred for the season. 
Josh Tilly leads the 400 club with seven. Peter Crawford Jr. has five now. Wow. We'll go with those scores later on. Let's get the one four seven. No marks yet. Over there chops up the two. One nine ten. Right. Here's one where I, I would expect them to pick off the two instead of going for all three. Yeah. There, good choice. Ronnie Link watching from Maine. Thank you very much. Hello, Jimmy watching. Thank you. Nine and eight, respectively. Bovier 100 through 8. Peter Crawford just 66 through 8. Team trying to pump him up. All right. Final two boxes update from Bob Lee. Yeah, we're heading for the stretch here in string one of three. And it's a 43 pin lead. Exeter held on. It's, it, the lead's been growing each, each time through the order now. Jonathan Boudreau, J.B. Gothier. Boudreau on 11. Just missed right. Not a bad leap considering one, two, seven, eight. And JB flirting with a strike. Nine of the wiggle. Five pin left up. John the spare. Perfect shot off the wall. Just can't get it to go. Will it? Come on down. It won't. JB gets a spare. How close can we get, Bob Lee, from that pin falling down? 99 and 99 tenths. It still won't go. It's still shaking his boots. Petrified the pin. And it puts out his misery with a 10. He's not happy with that, but a great shot. Good shot anyway. 107 through nine, JB, 98. Chance for a gainer here. 98 Germany. in the ball, they got two marks to one on this side. Down 43 though. Jonathan, a very fierce competitor. 3 1 split, 2 4 7 6 right. JB pounds the strike zone, 9. Again, 8 pin stands, a great piece of wood, two pieces of help. 107 through 9. Three spares in the first. Woodrow try to kick it over, missed left. 2 left, 6 right. JB, another one. Two in a row, three out of four. 117 the ball in the 10th here in the first. Trying to make a furious comeback for the first two points. Jonathan, excellent try. Nine, 116, opening string. All right, leads down to 33. Minus this next ball from JB. Trying to go big and perfect shot. Cliff Wing Eagle, five, 122. Excellent first string for Jason Gothia Jr. All right, got the lead under 30. That's a, he did, did a lot of work there. That was a 15, 15 pin game for JB. Who's a, a Western Mass resident moving up to Maine. Yep. Yeah. Sean McKinley, just three. Scott Lapia on a spare on lane 10. He has two strikes, two spares in the string. Crossing over, kick off the wall, it makes it six. Three, five, nine, 10, 102 through eight. McKinley off the wall, he's at the corner post. Lapia for a spare, just missed left. Three, nine, 10. He had six on that fill. Okay. Yep. Sean, nothing doing. Eight. 84 through nine. Scott gained the ties with an eight. 110 through nine. Sean is a spare four, spare five in the string. Okay, the leads, leads down to 22 now, Paul. Still a chance. Without a mark, though, also. McKinley, perfect shot. Spread eagle throwing the nine. Scott in lane 10, a beautiful extra lanes. Clean oh, spread no. eagle. It's like Bob Allard, John the Scarborough's ACST Class A match from yesterday. It was about umpteen amounts of those yesterday. Spread eagle pluses. Sean leads a five. Trying to go three and three at least. Three it is, comes back. Got the six, good effort. Three in the 10. 
McKinley, eight. 92, first string. Napier, an eight. 118, opening string. Two spares, two strikes. For last weekend's Pro Series singles elimination winner. Singles knockout winner, I should say, is sixth of his career. Lead is hanging at 22. Very manageable. Eric Pelletier, however, the sole mark on the board. Try to put into 30s with eight or more, and he yet does. A 30 pin lead. Five left, six right. 99 through 9. Uh, correction, 99 through 8. Haji, meanwhile, 478 on the left. Pelletier with the wood. He got it! Oh, Great shot! Play. Precision shooting by Eric. Haji, little thing on the head pin. Two in the five. 109 the ball through nine for Eric. Haji, nine. Tough string for him. 84 through nine. The 31 pin lead for Exeter. Five blocks to go. Kevin needs to mark out. Might need a double. Eric on the bonus. On the nose again. It's nine. Wood hits the five strike. <laughs> Sweeping strike on spare. Three marks in a row. One nineteen through nine. 129 plus two in the tenth. Anji three six right. Four seven left. Not easy. Great effort, sliding back, but go! It does not. Right. That was that was a good, good, just a fantastic he bid. Gives the pins a little gesture. And now he gets them both for a 10. Disappointing 94 first string for the captain, Dave Hodge Mallion. And a spare two half Worcester, Phil. That's it. Pelletier, five, first ball on the strike, wrapping up his first. Let's try to get to 139. Take eight, how about a 137, first string for Eric Pelletier in the third spot for Exeter. Three spares, one strike in the string, not too bad. Was that three, is it three in one blood? Three spares, one strike? Or is it four? Uh, four. Four spears, one strike. Hard to read this much. Yep. Four to one. Ah. Sweat strike! Oh, oh, oh. Woodside spins nine. A tap of the seven wants to go. Does not. 113 plus two in the ninth. Threat four spares, one strike. Woodside spare. His fourth spare here in the first of three on Canelton Bowling Network. Threat over double, crossing over five. Wood to help in between for a spare. Woodside on the spare. One, two, seven, ten. Sixteen blocks. Surrett, got it! Oh. Spare and strike! 123 through nine, 133 and a ball in the tenth. Woodside, two, seven, ten. The spear field, the spear field gives him 115 through nine. And Andre Pin won't carry for an eight. One, two, three. First string for the Rock, Ed Woodside. Right. We haven't said it officially, but uh, that wraps it up. Uh, Next, we'll get the first two points. Surrett going for 10 more. He gets seven. How about a 140 first string for some guy named Jeff Surrett? Five spears, one strike, a dazzling performance again. Going for his third consecutive 400 series in as many weeks. All the Which is oxymoron, three, three weeks in a row. A good chance now. 
couple of 120s will get him there. I think a 130. A couple of 130s will get him there, rather. Here's Bovier, Chris. One, two, seven, eight. Crawford due for a mark. Oh, no. Not in the wiggle. Got to get this one. Give him some confidence going into the second string. Bovier trying to drill it for a spare. He got it. Great shot. 110 of the ball through nine. They're pouring it on. And Crawford's on the board in the ninth. 76 in the ball. Yeah, he, he really wanted it. Four he's spares. He's laughing now, but he wanted it. For Chris. Nice ball again. Seven. 117 through nine. Crawford on the spare. He gets nine again. Ten oh. strike. Coming to life there late in the first. That's how you do it, folks. Never give up. 86 through nine. 96 plus two in the tenth. Good for him. Bovia trying to kick it over. Just missed left. Trying to get to 127. Over here at eight, nothing wrong with the 125 first string. Crawford, nine again. No strike this time, there would have been a double. Three, nine drops, no extra 10 the second time as it went down. A nine, 10 drop, nine. Spare, what a finish. 106, it was a 40 in his last two. That's, right. That's a great feeling when you're struggling like that. 106 for a string. The score from Bob Lee and the mark situation. Well, we'll, we'll make sure it's official. But uh, right now it's 610 to 563. Yeah, we'll double to check the math. We'll wait for we'll wait for the official scores here. But yeah, Exeter, Exeter cleaned that one up with, especially with uh, Jeff Surratt's 140 and Eric Pelletier's 137 coming out of the heart. Chris Bovera was was the number three bowler. All three of them coming from Exeter. JB stops the middle string with a 4-2 split. Make it, no, it's even more go down. Make it the 1-4-7-9. And would to possibly help? Jonathan Woodrow, perfect shot in the pocket. He's got a 6-9 on the right, 4-7 leave on the left. Oh, what a try by JB. Jonathan got one, the nine. Six ten to five sixty three scores are confirmed, Bob. Thank you. As oh. Jason Gothia Jr. gets a ten to start the second. Jonathan gets a nine. So that means it is a forty seven pin lead after one. Now it's forty six in the match for the number two seed Exeter over number five seed Academy three. JB, four horsemen plus the eight. Second box, second string. One of the ten. Jonathan, three, six, ten right, four, seven left. He's made this before. He gave it a try again. That's such high standards for himself. JB gets a nine that time, 19 through two. <laughs> Gary Rena from Tennessee watching, faithful follower, thank you for watching. Chuck, thanks for watching again. Mike Dondone Jr. watching. John gets a 10, Jonathan Boudreau, 10. Both fours, 19 through two, 47 pin lead in the match for Exeter. The number two seed leads the fifth seed, Academy three. And again, next Friday night, if you missed it earlier, Central Park leans three, the number one seed takes on number six, or correction, number eight seed, Metro. Freshies team, we got a 182 recently, Friday night. And both very well in the Pro Series playoffs. Imagine going 130 and you lose. Scott LaPierre had two strikes in the 
first. Almost go in there. Sean McKinley, a tough start for him. 5-2 split. Sean coming off a disappointing 92 first. Scott, a 118 first. Scott, two spares, two strikes. Looking for his fifth of the match. And he has it. Nice play there. McKinley, same spot. Ouch. Nothing like the great game of Kenneth Molly. Ask Bob Lee. Bob Lee, tell us the story. How you got started after this box? Very interesting story. And now look what you're doing. Well, I, I like to watch the pros throw. That's that's my interesting story. So I figured out how to use a camera so that I could do it. So McKinley got a Scotty got the spare, and Sean got a six. So tell us your story, Bob. How you get involved in bowling? Well, I I, mean, I, I came in as a sub. And I, I'd done ten pin and duck pin before, but I'd never seen a game that was so much like like baseball, like hardball. And uh, as Lepi gets five in the spare, fifteen through one. The first time I was out bowling competitively in a league, I realized that, that this was going to be uh, this is the game for me. I dropped I dropped all my other habits, base softball darts. You still like a 2018, 2019, Golf. right around there, right? Yeah, October 2018, yeah. Now, you have a two in a row, good try. I, I'm kind of shocked that some people think that the game is uh, in decline. I guess officially, you know, a lot of places are closed, including my uh, one of my home houses, Norwood, to be closing this this spring. My, uh, one of my old houses, Union Street Lanes, closed, re closed uh, last year. But... Uh, my goal, my, I think a lot of these guys' goal is to keep this game alive, especially the pro game. That was a seventh for LaPierre. And ten for McKinley. Another McKinley in the family. How about Lennis McKinley? How about her? Non pretty darn good bowl, don't you think, Bob? Oh, yeah. 202 high single. Big dead, dead head. She uh, is also. so clutch in terms. She won the first ever. One of the nicest people. Yeah. Women's doubles event with Deb DeRosia. Captain Dave Hodge Mallihan for Academy 3, 2 4 5 chance. Pelletier, oh, 8. He is dialed in, my goodness. What a finish he had in the first. 5 of the 8 here. Erica, thunderous, 137, 5 mark, 4 spares, 1 strike string. Looking for number 6 of the match. And you got it. Hodge and 8. Haji struggling tonight so far. 94 first in a spare fill of two on it. Extra up two points to none. One more mark on this side also. Haji just four. Palatier on the spare, the only mark for the side, five. 15 through one. Haji trying to work out of this jam. Got it! Great shot! All right. How about that one? Yes. 18 of the ball through two. Pelletier yes. gives a try. Just missed the four. Two versus five. A good one. Next week it's one versus eight. Pelletier 10. 25 through two. Jeff Sirek. Let all scores in the first, a 140 first string. Ed Woodside had a 123 with four spares. Jeff, five spares, one strike. Beautiful shot, two full. Can't push the four down. Three, six, ten right. Surrett wobbling four horsemen in the eight and back. Woodside missed the object pin, has the 3 4 10. Surrett got the easy one out of the way. Teammate cheering him on, rassing him. Good fun. Try to keep him loose. Woodside 7. Surrett an 8. Make it a 9. Early in the middle string. 3 pin lead for Exeter, 50 in the match. Don't forget the Hampshire State Tournament, April 8th to May 4th, Championship Weekend, May 11th and 12th. Coverage on Candleton Bowling Network on YouTube. Register at Exeter Lanes. 
We'll get the website and phone number in just a moment again. We didn't get, get it earlier. Woodside drops nine somehow. Two pin for a spare. Surrett, nice ball again. Push the seven down, goes to the four. The six goes. The ten goes. Strike. Textbook strike. Shocking. <laughs> Woodside spare. A tailor-made strike, he could say. <laughs> He's in disbelief. <laughs> uh, what a strange game, Bob, huh? Well, I, no, it, that's what you, that's what you get when you clean the plates, clean the pins, and uh, take care of your take care of your equipment. That oops. he needs he needs two more for a, for a beer. Triple strikes to right. Not necessarily a hammer, was it, Jeff? <laughs> a strike is a strike is a strike. Peter Crawford, speaking of strikes, out of 40 boxes, 40 of those last two boxes to get to 106 in the first after a hideous, hideous start. Bovey with a strike, rolls oh, back, oh, that goes! Oh. Taking a page out of Surrett's book there. <laughs> not, not an easy shot, can he pick it up? Good try. Oh, all right. Try, try to get a helicopter to spin from the right to the left. Crawford 10 oh, to start a second. Funny. Here the uh, the address is 6 Columbus Ave, ex New Hampshire at Shooters Pub Sports Bar. Register by calling 603-772-3856, 603-772-3856. Contact Rob Fakara. His email is GoCelt, G-O-C-E-L-T, as Crawford gets nine at Comcast.net. GoCelt at Comcast.net. State tournament, April 8th to May 14th. Extra lanes. Nine drop for Petey. Down to the 10. Two in the 10 for both air. He's on a strike. Crawford goes third mark and four boxes. Just missed. The DJ took a spin left in that one. Tough shot for Bovier. He's the wood. He got it! Incredible shot! Wow! Spare and strike, 20 through one, 30 and a ball through two. In the channel goes Crawford Jr., a nine, 19 through two. Update from Bob Lee. Well, I was going to say uh, Academy 3 was looking good, and then. What we just, there, there was a spare, a strike explosion from Surrett and Bovaire, and they picked up 14 pins in the exchange. It's now two marks apiece on the board, and a 14 pin lead for Exeter. Second time through, Jonathan Boudreau and Jamie Gothier both had 19s in their first two. Then for Jonathan, just three that time. JB crossing over, he's got six. He has the three, five, nine, seven left. Jonathan, excellent second ball, won't carry, carry. Two, four, seven, ten. JB, excellent shot. How'd they not go? Five doing dance. Seven holding firm. Jonathan, same spot. Six, 25 through three. JB, nine. 28 through 3 on Canopy Bowling Network in high definition YouTube. Again, it's always free, never a charge. We're 2,600 subscribers now, Bob, over 1,000 videos. Again, register free. Get your friends and family to do so also. Yes. Yeah, so Bowling Network on YouTube. Someone watching this, this uh, episode might be our millionth view. We're going to be seeing that in, sometime in the next couple of weeks. Jonathan Domino's 9, 4 pin for a spare. Wood to help. And JB with the setback shot. Gets the spare. After six blocks, nice bounce back. 35 and a ball through four. JB, excellent try on the object. That won't go. Can't believe it either. Thought that several kick off the wall and go to the right side, but nothing doing. Eight. 36 through four in the second of three. Week 28 of 35 in the regular season. Friday Night Pro League game of the week. And Metro Bowl trying to get in the playoffs after the last two years missing by one point 
each last two years, now in eighth. Next week at number one, Central 3, 7.30 live on Canopy Bowling Network on YouTube. McKinley. Come back for more, steals eight. 6.10, spare chance. Scott Lapierre got the right side to go. 2-4, spare chance. McKinley with the wood. Got it. 26 in the ball through three. Lapierre's turn. He gets it. Second mark of the second. 32 in the ball through three. Four marks to two, favor Exeter right now. They're up a big as does in the string. 60 in the match. McKinley head pin it, 2-1 split, 2-4 left, six on the right. On the spare, 33 through three. Stunt on the spare. Beautiful textbook pocket shot, four in the eight. 40 through three. McKinley tries to slice and dice it, couldn't quite get to the two. Didn't miss by much. Lapierre on the object won't go. That's not easy. Those angled pins like the 4 8 pot, the 6 9, it seems a lot more difficult than like a 1 2 or a 1 3. Well, it, and it depends on which way you're coming from. Lapierre comes in right to left. That makes that one a little, little bit more challenging. McKinley a 9, 42 through 4. Scott Lapierre a 9. 49 through four. And again, no relation to Jerry or Jeff Lapierre, Scott Lapierre. Dave Hodge in the captain. Up now. He's on a spare. On a spare. He's on a spare, yep. Eric Pelletier has spare five in the first, ten in the second. Pelletier takes down five. Hodge, you looking for the Big Ten here. Just missed left, takes down 70. It's the Augusta Main Special, the 1710 Sports Center. Great place to bowl, lousy leave. 25 through two. The old highlight jack shot. Thought I hit the wood in the channel. I couldn't see it from my angle. I thought it hit the channel, but I couldn't see it. Bulls call it, though. And let's see if the official score is that 10 or It's a 10. He called it good, I guess. So 30. I couldn't see it. He hit the, he hit the pin on the deck yeah, first. I, I couldn't see it. got blocked. jammed into the side. Yeah. That, was, that was his call, but that's what I saw. Okay, I couldn't see it. Right. So yeah. 35 through 3 of the 10 bucks. Eric with a 9. 34 through three. Another good ball strike. His second of the match. 44 plus two through four. Haji bounces right. Five down, five to go. Close here in the second, but the marks favor Exeter right now. Three to one, four to one. Just missed left, has the one and three. Trying to get the 45 through four here in the second. Haji, 10, 45 through four. We're going to talk to Haji in just a moment after this, after this box. Both are on spares. So it's on a strike, actually. Yep, on a strike. For two! Bang! Double strike! Going for the bear next. 29 plus bonus. 39 plus bonus balls. Woodside spare seven, four, seven, five, 24 through two in the second of three. Woodside trying to kick it over. Good effort. Not easy. Yes, 
Woodside gets the 10, 34 through 3. After Jeff Sweat's box, we'll talk to Haji with the Steel Bob's headset for a moment. Let's begin over the turkey, the triple strike on lane 11. This guy's fun to watch, isn't he, Bob? All these guys. Over three. Right in that nose, eight. No domino action this time. 28 in the first double strike box. 37 through two, 47, the ball through three. Which an opposite setback shot, five, six, 10. Sweat for a spare and double strike. Yep. Bang! 20 in the second double strike box, 57 through three. How about 67, the ball through four? Wow. Nope. Oh, what's I got it to go? Woo! Masterful shot, 44 in the ball through four. Let's bring in Haji. Hey, Dave. Hey, no balls going, guys. Tough, tough loss that first thing, guys. Hanging with the guys. You're eight and eight with them against this year, by the way, in the first two matches. So you can hang with these guys. Uh, talk about your business, first of all. Yeah, uh, so I, 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 uh, I own a flooring company out in uh, Whitman, Mass, right off 18, close by Timberlands. Um, I'm at the home show this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. One second, Chris Bovier on a spare after a strike. Off to the left, it's five, 35 through two. All right, Haji, go ahead. Nice ball, PD. Um, yeah, so I, I own a flooring company out in uh, Whitman, Mass. I'm in the home show this weekend out in Foxborough. Uh, tomorrow from 10 to four, and sat Sunday from uh, 10 to three. So if you come in, if you come and mention Caleb Pit Bowl and come and see me, you get a discount on flooring. Okay, give me the website, the phone number, the address. Yep, 421 Bedford Street in Whitman, Massachusetts. 421 Bedford Street. Bedford Street, okay. In Whitman, Mass. And uh, the cell phone, the, my cell phone number is 978-390-5745. One more time, that number? Uh, 978-390-5745. Both with 10s that time. And the website? Uh, it's it's anyflooringandbacksplashes.com. Any flooring and back. Talk about Peter Crawford. We missed went to your team this year. 66 through 8. Doesn't give up. Doesn't. He's frustrated, but he gets a strike in the spare to get 40 and 2 and get to 106. All, all year long, I just tell him stay positive. He's been a phenomenal teammate all year. Um, you know, a couple weeks ago we were down 40 something pins going to the last two boxes, and him and Eddie pulled it off. So I always tell the guys just keep it in the match. I mean, this team's phenomenal. Exit is, you know, they're obviously a bunch of phenomenal bowlers. So um, we had to bring our A game today, and uh, unfortunately, Captain Hodge didn't have his A game so far. So. <laughs> Night's still early, though. You, got, you had a great career yourself, and you're still blowing a very high level. Luckily to be around, built myself a, a good group of, uh, you know, people to be around. And you know how, you know how it goes. It's kind of like I'm the old-timer on the team now, which I'm only 40 years old, which is hilarious, but that's okay. Anytime you want to trade, let me know. Listen, you do a lot for us, so it's, it, without, without you, you know, a lot of this wouldn't even be happening. People wouldn't be spectating this phenomenal sport, uh, the exposure and everything. It's great. This is a lot of time and effort, too, and people you know, need to understand that. This is uh, it's a lot of work preparing for this, for what you guys do, and organization. We're all very appreciative of it because we get to see some of our mistakes when we're on there you know, and whatnot. So the address and the website one more time? Yep, 421 Bedford Street, Whitman, Mass. Um, and then the, the, app, the website is NEF and B. Sorry, NEF, following and backsplashes.com, NEF and B. Dot com. We have two websites because I had a, when I took it over, I had to add a new one. But um, anyways, you can also like us on, on Facebook, doing a forward and backsplashes. All right, Dave Hodge, McMillan, class act. Good luck the rest of the Thank you guys. Appreciate season. everything you guys do. Thank, Thank you very ball. much. Back Thank to ball. Bob Lee with the update here in just a moment. Right Wire away. Peter Crawford had a 39 start through four without a mark. Chris Bovier is at 53 through four. Get a quick update from Bob Lee. It's uh, right. Johnson's on a spare. Got lost a little while you're doing that interview, but we're, we're back now. Caught up with the official scores. Just checked them against uh, Boudreau with a five on his fill. Puts him to 40. And we are caught up. It's now a 30 pin lead for Exeter. As both bowlers open in the fifth. JP is seven. Just 43 through five. Furious. Jonathan the channel for a nine, 49 half. We're at the second half of the match right now, Bob. That's right. Exeter won the first. By 47, 610 to 563. Right now they're 32 in the strength, 79 in the match. JB on the crossover with a check mark.
Jonathan just missed left five. Jonathan's high single this season in the Friday Night Pro League, the first 27 weeks, 158. Pedro, great shot, it goes. How about that one? Second spare of the second, 59 the ball through six. JB gets two for nine. Just 52 through six in the second of three. Leads up to 33, Paul. Second ball is Sean McKinley. 42 through four. Scott Lapia, 49 through four. Scott trying to rally his team back. Kick off the wall on the crossover, 3-9-10. What does possibly help? McKinley finding his way back to where he was before. Two, seven, eight. Technically not at the halfway point yet. Just about there, though. What a shot for a spare. How about that one? McKinley just missed the entre pin. It's got the 59 and the ball through five. Sean with a nine, 51 half. Two more boxes, then we're at the halfway point officially. Scott, three spares here in the second. He's got five spares, two strikes in the match. One of the best bowlers in Maine. On the nose, eight, six right, seven left. 50, make it 67, half. Sean drills eight, five right, eight left. Scott trying to kick it over. Ooh. McKinley for a spare. Oh, who needs the wood? Sharpshooter, spare. Looks like Glenn's McKinley in that shot. 61 of the ball through six. Lapierre grabs one for nine. 76 through six. Eric Pelletier working on a strike. 44 plus two on the left, on the right. We just spoke to Dave Hodge Malahan, the captain. 45 through four. And a spare seven to second. Just two spares in the match. Hook left, just three. Eric on a strike. Three, uh, correction, three, three pins standing, two middle, four left, five right. Haji chops out the two, six left. It's a little bit off tonight. Relative to the mark. He gets it. A big 20, spare and strike. There he goes again. 54 through four, 64 and a ball through five. Nice up on Haji. Gets five of the six for nine and a 54 half. Extra has the lead by 34 in the string. They lead the match. 36 at the moment, yep. 36 rather. Yeah, the, 83 in the match. Four spares to one, Paul. It's, it's time to act for Academy. Right side, six, one, two, eight, ten. Pelletier going with three marks in a row. A golden chance here with the one, three, six. 71 half. Get a 137 the first. Haji 94 first. He's got wood to help that corner pin and missed number one. Eric from the mark, hooked left. Eric's been getting his ball to move about three inches uh, left to right Eric, with each pitch. And uh, that one, that one he, uh, he threw a loop. <laughs> 10 for Haji, 64 through six. Pelletier off the wall, missed the second, make the third for a 10. 
81 through six, still a good score. He always missed that chance. Ed Wood sat on the right on a spare for Academy three, their only mark of the board, 44 in the ball. Jeff Sweat on a spare for Exeter, number two team. What a start he's having, Bob, that double strike helped. 62 in the ball. The Rock pushes six. Make it seven, one, three, 10, 51 through four. Now we're past the halfway point of the match. Sweat crossing, another strike again! Oh my goodness. Three strikes in five boxes, wow! Woodside missed that chance. And Jeff didn't need help that time with the woods dan with the pins dancing around, or the wood spinning around. At eight box, 60 half. It's a nine, right? Yeah. Jeff at it again. Look at the score. 82 in a plus two. 72 through four. 82 plus two through five. Woodside, half Worcester. Hate that shot, two in the eight. Surrett going to the mark. Beautiful ball. No oh, struggle strike, oh. but almost. There have been two double strikes. This string. Woodside, 147. Surrett missed it. Nine in the fill, though. What a start. 91 half. Woodside, seven. 67 through six. Wasn't there for Jeff? A nine. What a start. 105 through six. Is it? Or is that right? Hold on, maybe, is it 100? Hold on. I think that's a... Uh, let's see what the scoreboard says. Uh, let's double check that, Bob. Hey, here's Pete. Paul's going to check that. It might be a 105. That's what they have up there. 105, 105 through 6 is confirmed, Bob, for Jeff Sturette. Couldn't okay. see the uh, smudgy scoreboard. Bovera for a strike bid, eight. Five and a seven. Tough leave. Peter Crawford Jr., good second ball. Can't quite reach the seven. Bovera. Oh, <laughs> how close do you get? Crawford, 10. 47 without a mark through five. Chris gets the five to go this time for a nine. <laughs> 62 half, extra oh, pulling it on. It's nine, it's nine rather, right? Yep, six. So 62 through, half, through the half. Crawford looking for Mark, strike! Bury the pocket. Second strike of the match, you go with one spare. Bovere with a diamond. Two marks to one, favor Exeter. Exeter two spares, a strike here for Academy three from Crawford Jr. Over trying to uncut it. Missed left, two in the five, stand. Update from Bob Lee after this box. Thanks for watching. Share with your friends and family. More importantly, get your friends to bowl. Nothing like it. Game of skill and challenge for all ages. Over here, nine, Chris, 71 through six. Update from executive producer, Kenneth Bowling Network, Mr. Bob Lee. All right, we'll put the whole, whole scores on the board, and you can see Jeff Surrett with the big 105. He's our leader through six. Match score right now, 377 to 316. Exeter with two spares. BDP, the only mark on the board, a strike for Academy 3. Right now we're going to see Jonathan Boudreaux next on lane 11. He's on a spare at 59 through six. Was a, it's good action out of the three pin for an eight fill. JV's drops seven to the triangle. Boudreaux makes quick work of that two pinner. And 
JB will have to take another bid. His last two. That'll be nine, 61. Lead is 70. Seven on that fill for Jonathan. All right, this one, he's going to try to make a combo shot here. Somewhere near the, yep, perfect. Hit that one a little below the ribbon and picked up the spare. Boudreau, 94. Through eight with the ball. And almost. It's a sideways spare there. Now, JB uh, the seven and eight pin. JB Bulls, uh, I got a sheet here. Uh, canal Lanes? And yeah. West, yeah, Canal Lanes, Western Mass. He's in, the, he's in that great Wednesday night league uh, for one more year. That's the one I'll be joining next season, Paul. Yeah. Yeah, it's from Holyoke Mass right now. Central Park, Central Lanes, rather. Central, not Central Park Lanes, Canal Lanes, rather. Canal Lanes, Southampton, Massachusetts. Good question there, though. Mike, thanks for asking. And Wayne Petty, Jeff Surrett, sure is on fire. Yeah, I love doing the interviews, Wayne. It's, I like to get bowlers to promote their cause and uh, see where they're at, even when they're struggling, just to try to get them going and see what they're thinking and to make adjustments. I like to cover all angles of the sport. All right, McKinley steps back after starting his And Wayne, first thanks, pitch. thanks for the compliments, too, Wayne Petty. I appreciate that. All right, back to live action. Bob, you want to go on with this? Okay. Four on the fill for McKinley, 65. LaPierre's on it. Everything but a shake of 10, pin down. He was open in the six to 76. McKinley's still got five to work with in his third ball next. And managed just to get it around that piece. That piece was good. He just he just managed to hit the pin. I do not it. want to be the object on a firing range of Scott Lapierre. <laughs> what a shot that was. Who needs the wood? <laughs> that was a dart, you could say. <laughs> hey, so McKinley gets an 8, 73. Scott, very stoic usually in lanes. Very fierce, intense. It's a laugh out of that one. 86 in the ball through seven. Back to Bob. All right, that's that dreaded pocket five. Just a shade better than the spread eagle. McKinley in the bonus. Nine fall down to the kingpin. Little rally here for Academy. McKinley sends it and makes it. Oh, there we saw the McKinley shuffle. That's, that's slinky. And spare is good for Scott McKinley. That's more like McKinley's game. Great shot. Middle bullets. All right, here's Pelletier now. 81 through 621 over. Comes in on the three pin, knocks three back. He was open. Aji. Four horsemen. All right, there's a six plus one here for Scott. Scott, now he's down to the uh, dreaded five, seven, ten. Aji's going to have to work on the right side with his third ball. Eight for Pelletier, 89. And 72 through seven for Haji. Still got a little room here, a 71 pin lead for Exeter. Marks are evened up to a piece, but uh, Petey Crawford on a strike. Yeah, that got better with a nine pin falling late for Pelletier. 
This is a uh, cocked hat weave. Right. Whoa, pick up. Nice pick up on lane 11. Spare for Pelletier, 99. Three, eight. That was a 10. Haji, now at 82. 14 boxes to play. Ed Woodside at 67 on lane 10. And here, the man of the moment, Jeff Surrett, Spread Eagle. Woodside. Take a bit at the four horses. Both the five and the nine are back there behind it. He doesn't care. He goes, gets them all. Very little ground given by Surrett there. Completes the 10. Leads now at 71. Nine drop to the four pin for Surrett. Three time Easter Classic winner, I believe. Seven on the fill. Woodside has seven, eight, nine. Tough, tough lead. Spare is good. Jeff has won five Easter Classic titles, five. actually. Five. Five right. Three titles. in a row, right? Or so, yeah. Is that yeah. what I'm remembering? Yeah. That'll be coming up in uh, just a little over a week. He's thrown the past five strikes in a row. 92 for Woodside. Jeff's high single, by the way, 204, high triple, 483. How about a dazzling high five? Check this out, Bob. 802. Yeah. Can you say Hall of Fame first ballot? All right, anchor bowlers now. Pete Crawford on a strike. And for those listening out there, the Hall of Fame, you have to be nominated. Someone has to nominate you. You cannot nominate yourself. Someone has to nominate you for the Hall of Fame. So if you know a bowler out there deserving, check out the ICBA website, International Chemical Bowling Association website. There's a strike. Right? Sorry, Bob. That's yeah, fine. I can't, I can't keep track of the scores when I do that ball. Why, right. don't, you, why don't you take it? Okay, so we have the strike. And a strike to start. Strike here in the seventh. 81 plus two. Peter Crawford on a strike to fill here. He gets somehow nine. 66. Gets the 10 to go. 66 through seven. 76 in the ball through seven. 66 through six. Now 76. Seven. Right. For the moment, the lead's down to 57. But love four to, marks to one, though, for Exeter. Yeah, he'd love to get it under 50 to go through for the last time through the lineup. Right. Chris Bavare has something to say about that. Beautiful oh. ball. Nine just oh, missed oh. as the four takes a tickle from the wood. Crawford for a strike. Eight. Four in the seven. Spare chance. Wood to help. For a spare, missed oh. it, not by much. Crawford, he missed left also. Four pin, he's got a, uh, got a shield around it on both sides. Oh. Chris gets his 10, 100 through eight. And Crawford missed his four pin for nine. Just 85 through eight. The grind continues. He has two strikes, one spare of the match. Back to top of the final two boxes. Update from Bob Lee. Well, let's check our scores against the official scores. 316. Well, we're up to uh, 501 for Exeter as they, as they step up for their last. And a 67 pin lead. 
four spares on the board for Exeter, just one for Academy. Exeter Bob's second in average per string, 589.63 behind number one team, Central 3, 598.06. We'll see them, Central 3, number one at home against number eight, Metro, next Friday night, 730 in the Friday night Pro League Team of the Week on Canopin Bowling Network. Boudreaux Spears, nine, go, five little shimmy, 103 through eight. JB in the triangle, can't get the five to oh, go. Dear. Jonathan versus Spear, no problem. He's got four in a row, look at him go. Five out of six, 113 the ball through nine. JB nails it for a 10, 80 through nine. No marks in the string, getting frustrated. They bat, they, they've hung tough all year, they're eight and eight. Split the first two matches combined. So far, it's all Exeter. So another string to go. JB, beautiful ball, but splits again. Seven left, three, six, ten right. And tenth box, second string. Jonathan just missed the pocket, gets seven, maybe eight. Six turns right, has the one, three, going for five in a row. 121 through nine. JB trying to kick it over. Object pin, nothing else. Open string, no marks. In Canada, open means you're filling a mark. The draw just missed right. No kickback, maybe. Oh it does my go. Goodness. Wow, when you hunt, you hunt. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five in a row. Six out of seven. Masterful. And look at that 10 for JB. That's a wow 10. Back to back 10, it's just a 90 second string. All right, Pedro, we're gonna try to get himself to 140. Match Jeff Surrett's highest score so far in the match. On the bonus, good ball, hey. nine more. According to my call, yeah. Ties Jeff Surrett's Hopefully first string here in the second, 140. For Jonathan Woodrow, 256 through two. What a performance. What a huge game out of the number one slot there for Pedro. Scott Lapier trying to help his team somehow. He's got two in a row, three out of four, five marks here in the string, four spares, one strike. On the spare, crossing over six, 111 through eight. Sean McKinley, it's a great shot for a spare, gets five on the fill. 88 through eight, second string of three. It's a tough formation for Lapierre. He missed everything. McKinley get the object to go, the one eight, but this, uh, and there goes the six, so it's the three ten baby split. Already beat his first string of 92. Scott, that's what he wanted, but it's two for an eight. 126 through nine. Is that right? No. Uh, check that. I can't read that scoreboard. McKinley. Uh, Scott Lapierre. Check that one. McKinley got a nine box. So he's at 97 through nine. Yep. And Scott, they haven't had one. I can't read that. That's one, 111 and then, and then the eight. Okay, 119 through nine. Yep. Okay, got it. Thank you. No electronic scoreboard here. Lapierre chance here. The 247. McKinley crossing over to the strike bid, nine. Lapierre for the spare. Long side of the wood. Trying to get to 129. McKinley spare. 107 the ball. Third spare of the string. Had two in the first. That's a 128. 120 for Scott Lapierre. 118, 128, 246, a 123 average. McKinley's fill is a generous eight. Nice finish, 115. 
207 through two. Five spares in the match. Scott Lapp had five spares, and that string has got seven spares, two strikes in the match. Dave Hodge, Malley, and the captain trying to get something going. Eric Pelletier in a spare gets five. He's at 104 through eight. Hodge, all but number one. Pelletier just missed inside, has the one and the 10. Hodge gets the 10 blocks. 95, 92 make it, 92 through nine. Not as nice so far, 94 first. Eric missed left for an eight, 112 through nine. Late in the second. Haji on the crossover, strike bid nine, tap of the six. Stumbles, but won't go. Oh, it, the wood started to straighten out and then Turn the other way. That, that's tricky wood now. Eric clears the right side. 2-4. Spare chance. I marked getting the 130s for the second string in a row. Haji got a break. Spare. Bounces it off the wall. 102 in a ball in the 10th. Pelletier missed right. All right, get 10. Eric a nine, 121, second string. He has seven spares, two strikes to the match. He's at 258 through two. Haji's bonus ball, the rep of his second. is a six with a diamond. End up with a 108 second string. Just 200 through two. Correction, 202 through two. Yep. And that's with two spares for Haji. That gives him three, only three marks in the match. At Woodside, 92 through eight coming in, one, three, eight, nine. Chest threat on a spare again. On the crossover, it's a triangle, three, five, six. 132 through eight. And a 140 in the first. Over three, four hundreds in a row. Oh. Too accurate, right in the middle. So, scrunch his shoulders on that one. Woodside, eight. A correction, nine. 101 through nine. Surratt with a nine. 141 through nine. And the 400 watch is on again. He has three already this year. 454, 408, eight, two weeks ago. And week 12, 412. Hodge with two 400s himself. 420 and a 409. Hey. He has Ed Woodside for strike. Ed Woodside's highest 383 this year. Surrett pounds the strike zone nine. Double strike early. His three strikes here in the string. Two spares. Now it's three and three. Spare. 151 in the ball in the tenth. His high is 166 this year. Ed's 162. Yeah, that'll, that'll clinch it. Woodside on the nose, six. Surrett on the spare. Right side, six. How about 157 second string? How about 297 through two? Another gem by... Jeff Surrett. Woodside, seven in the strike, 118, second string. After 123 first, 241 through two. Exeter, 633 and rolling here. Leading by 104. They, they, at, at Woodside, is. Bob, seven spares, one strike in the match. As Peter Penn, uh, P Peter Crawford, rather Peter Penny. Peter Crawford gets nine. Peter Penny, central one, the captain. Captain 
is Dave Hodge Malahan for Peter's team here. Spare chance. Got it. Just like last string. Spare in the ninth. And a strike spare combination to get from 66 to 106 in the first. 95 and a ball for nine. Chris Bovere, two in the 10. Chris doinks it for an eight, 108 through nine. Academy Thrill trying to get two points in the third string. Total is an uphill battle. But you never know in this crazy game of Kenneth Mulling. We've had some big weeks. And these teams can win any given night. Crawford crossing over seven. 102 through nine. Chris with four. Final box of second. One string to wrap it up. Here in beautiful extra lane since 1946. Crawford Jr. Nine. 121 second string. Back on his game after 106 first. 227 through two. Actually a ball to go. I think my mistake. Bovier just missed the head pin. You're trying to get to He's at 102 through nine. Okay, okay, I, the scoreboard's wrong. Okay, 102 through nine. Sorry, Bob. Make it a 10 box, a 10. so make it 112 officially. My mistake, Bob. Thank you. And 10 is 118. So Peter Crawford, 218 through two officially. Yep. That looks complete to me. Let's double check all the scores, but it looks like a 651 to 556 final. Academy closes to under 100, but they are 237 down through two strings, two of three. And, uh, well, the leadoff bowlers get set up. Uh, look, look at what we've got here. Take the scores off from that string, and we, and we can see the top bowler, Jeff Surratt, at 297. After that... Eric Pelletier, 258. And Jonathan Boudreau now at 256. All for Exeter. David Speaking Milton, of. thanks for watching too, by the way. On our stream. Friday Night Pro League, Game of the Week. Paul Grant, Bob Lee, live from Exeter Lane. Shooter Sports by Exeter, New Hampshire. Final string of the way. Jason Gauthier, Jr., JB, flirts with a strike. Wiggling nine. Jonathan Boudreau, 1249 on lane 11. Great try. Kick off the wall. Just oh. can't get there. JB gets the spare. Trying to get off to a strong start and get at least two points total in jeopardy. Jonathan 10 to start the final string of the match. There were 41 bowlers, Bob, this season to have a 32 balls rather with a 400 series. At least once. There are 14. One second. Check the official scores here as Jonathan drops seven. So JB on the spare gets seven. Wooden three nine half. Worcester ten right. Wood to help. 17 through one. They're up seven. Was well, confirmed 651 to 556 in that second for Exeter. Jumper. Oh, right over the seven. What a try. JB from the mark. He gets it. Oh. Holds his chest. He missed the object pin. The wood That's took right. it. Hey, JB had, had a seven fill. 27 now to ball through two. For Boudreau through two. So 12, 1261 through two for Exeter. <laughs> McKinley half west to start in his final string. Scott Lapierre subbing in tonight. Mike Nardone, one, three, six, ten. 
McKinley. Banana split plus the head pin to Jim Dandy. He's gone for a spare. Got it. Three for three for the team so far. Three boxes, three spares. McKinley a five. That's a big swing there. Almost like an extra mark fill alone. Great start for Academy 3 here in the final string at Exeter. Six, six lanes in 1946, six more added in 1952. Great owner, Rob Fakara Sr. And a great staff, Darren, helping out with the lanes tonight. Does a wonderful job. The entire staff, here tonight, Morgan and all the other here tonight do a wonderful job. Kinley, 478, lap the year on the spare. Same thing. 1 3 6 10, 16 through 1. Up by 18 right now. McKinley, good second ball. 5 9 10. Wood coming out of play. Scott, front of the mark, missed the head pin that time. Scott's on Ben here, 12 year older. Good young ball on the rise on lane eight, practicing. McKinley, nice out, nine. 14 through two, Scott 10, 26 through two. Perfect start for Academy three. Three spares, 110. They have a 19 pin lead already. Yeah, the huge difference between a 8-0 and 6-2. For, for the especially for the loser, and, and, you know the, the amount of ground that you that you lose to the field. Um, they're obviously pumped up. Eric Pelletier starts his final string. Spare chance two four seven. Having a great night. Dave Hodge Mallian in the third spot. The captain for Academy three out of Haverhill, Mass. One two four eight. Pelletier spare. It's eighth spare to go with two strikes in the match. Haji missed right. Davis a 94 and a 108 so far. 202. Takes out two for an eight. One spare for each side. Eric gets in the pocket and a friendly leave. 3 5 9, 17 through 1. Haji trying to go back door, spins down 7, 1 2 7, makeable spare chance. A bunny for Pelletier. He's got it. He goes back to back. 27 in the ball through two, like JB did for Academy 3. Haji can't find the head pin. Dave gets a 10, 18 through two. The middle ball is Jeff Surrett, the 600, the uh, 400, 600, the 400 watch is on. He's gonna have a 600 with five strings tonight, or 700 maybe he's bowling. What a start, Bob, 140 and 157. Eight spares unofficially, four strikes, including a double in the second. Davey split here, two in the seven. At Woodside with a 4-2 split. It has a 123 to 118. He's got seven spares, one strike in the match. Surrett for a spare. He missed it right. Woodside got his to go. Great shot by the veteran bowler. Spare. And Jeff, the Paul Grant special, missed the second, make the third for a 10. Academy 3 would need a 750 prop to just have a chance to win total. <laughs> yeah. Surratt crossing over. Look at this lead. 5, 7, 10. Some wood hanging around. Woodside spare is left side 5, 15 through 1. You know, that, it's not impossible. I, lo I, like, I like that, that look. For, for a 5, 7, 10, that's an interesting look. 
Look at the, the, the little slot there, to the right of the five pin there. He does, and nothing to show for it. <laughs> Which side? <What? laughs> Somehow get the one three. What a funny game. Hey, nice seven ten ten pick up there. Pair of tens. Woodside sweeps it for a yeah. 10, 25 through two on Candleton. Bowling never. So Mike Woods, Nardone. Woodside's gonna, filled with only a three then. Mike right? Nardone, you going to show up next time we come to you guys? What's up, man? <laughs> Just bad timing, I guess. What a great bowler he is, too. Mike Nardone. That's a 25 for Ed, right? Yep. Okay. It, was, it was a five. Should be a five and a 10, yep. Yeah, okay. Again, the stencil score, but hard to read, even though we're not too far back. I do have a pin cam. I should look look more closely at the pin cam. That's okay. I get you back. There's a strike for Chris Bovair to start the third. Wow. Crushed it. Meanwhile, Crawford won three seven ten. What a bomb by Bovair. Second strike of the match. Go with six pairs. Peter three seven ten. Crawford, object pin for an eight. Been a tough night for Peter Crawford, who has a 453, a 417, a 415, a 410, and a 401 this season. And he's only at 218 through two tonight. Crawford Jr., eight. Six right, eight left. Wood to work with. Yep. His team has 10 400s this year, second in the, in the league. 14 for Central 3. We'll see next Friday night against Metro in Central Park Lanes, East Boston Mash. Seven with Josh Daly alone, 400s this year. Chris's fill is six on the strike, 16 through one. Crawford for a spare. Nails it. 18 in the ball through two. No one likes to get swept. We want to get at least two points. Chris, great out. Pretty oh shot. A, that's a wow 10. After a strike six, 26 through two. Let's get an update from Bob Lee. Let's switch over to camera two. Seven pin lead in the early going for Academy Three. They, they have uh, also a two, two spare to one lead. Behind a 27 start from JB, who's on up next on lane 11. The other spare still pending is from Pete Crawford, you just saw. He has an eight drop, 310, mini split. Spare seven, spare eight, 35 through two in the final string of the match on Candlepin Bowling Network. John Pedro, a pair of tens, 3610, spare opportunity. JB with three in a row. Missed it somehow. Jonathan's turn. Gets his. Perfect start. Ten spares and strikes in Kennelpin. A perfect game. 30 in a ball through three. JB gets it this time for a 10. Excellent start. 45 through three in the third. How about Mike McIntosh 3.0 doing a great job of the youth program every Wednesday, 3.30, 90 minutes to two hours, instructional bowling, shoes included, just $10 a person. Get the word out, 3.30 every Wednesday afternoon. Academy Lanes, Pub 125, 725 South Main Street in the Bradford section of Haverhill at Pub 125. Great job, Mike McIntosh 3.0 on the upgrade. Jonathan in the pocket, tough lead. Well, the seven goals, better chance now, 3-5-10. On the other side of the ledger, JB, 3, 6, 10 right, 4, 7 left. Missed outside the three. Jonathan, two tens, looking for two spares. Just missed left, has the three and 10. JB, a nine, 54 through four. For the soon to be Mainer.
Jonathan just missed inside, scooted inside the uprights. Eight box, 45 through four. One spare for each side. Academy clinging onto a single digit lead of nine pins. Match pretty much out of reach, I would say. I never say never in this crazy game, but odds not in their favor. That's more than I've ever seen overcome. <laughs> biggest lead, biggest team lead I ever saw overcome was about a 102. That was a money match with John Winchell. Yeah. Yeah. And Brian Fuller Jr. Different format, but similar number of boxes. Yeah. That's available on Canada from Bowling Network on YouTube. Justin Scally, Bob Lee in that call. And speaking of main here, Scott Lapierre, 6'10", 7", he's got three pieces, getting advice from the Rock at Woodside how to play it. It's funny how everybody thinks differently about how to play the wood. How do you play it in this situation well, yourself? On this one, you, you want to hit the, I think, the lower tip of that piece out in front near the, near the head pin, and it will, it will send off to the left. You want the ball's likely to jump is the problem. It might not hit that piece. It has to hit the pins. Oh wow! Oh, what a shot mind. for a spare. There, he, that's. I don't think that's what he was trying to do. Thirty-six in the ball through three. I, I, yeah, that was sweet for the sixth time. If that was on purpose. That was brilliant. <laughs> Pro Series winner Scott Lapierre. <laughs> McKinley grabs three. A five and two nines, just 23 through three here on the final string. Over 1,000 videos and climbing, always free, never a charge. Can Up Mowing Network for semi-pro and pro action, always free on YouTube. Subscribe now, get your friends and family also, and get them out to bowl. Can Up and Bowling, nothing like it. Support your local centers all year round with Can Up and gift cards for any occasion. Mother's Day, Father's Day coming up soon. Graduations as well, good chance to get people into the sport. Scott six, McKinley nine. Scott's Fairfield, 42 through three. McKinley, a golden opportunity with a six. A plank in front. I think it's, I think it's close. Scott made this earlier without wood. I think you just has hit the, hit the wood on the, anywhere. And somehow the one goes, nothing else. McKinley, spare. Yep. 33 in a ball through four, the slow start. That's how you do it. Fight, fight, fight. Scott, middle pin for somehow an eight. Strange box, 50 through four. All right, leads 14 now for the moment. But two marks to one, favor Exeter. And one coming up for Red Hot Eric Pelletier, spare seven in a spare on the purple short in lane 10. Dave Hodge Malian, 18 through two on the right, eight and a 10. Uh, David Milton, uh, where he bowls out of uh, Peter, uh, uh, Jason Gothia Jr., JB. It's Canal Lanes, oh, cool. Southampton, Massachusetts. Southampton, Massachusetts. Eric drills nine in the spare, 36 Some through three. Great late action on Eric's ball there. Nice oh, shot, spare Haji. for Haji. 28 in the ball through three. Eric for another one. Yes, he's got three in a row. 46 in the ball through three. A battle of two versus five could be a preview of possible a second round playoff matchup. Or a final. Who knows in this Friday Night Pro League, eight out of 12 make it. May 21st, coverage on Canop and Bowling Network. Six in the fill, Pelletier eight on his fill. 34 through three for Haji. Eric up to 54 through three. It's a 180 pace. Haji, great shot, just missed the nine. Heck of a bid. Pelletier, two in the seven. Got the two, but didn't get the seven. Denied four in a row. That close. Haji scoots around the wood for a nine. 43 through four. Stream trying to get two points. Eric in the channel. Balancing act for a nine. 63 through four. Jeff Surrett, two tens to start. At Woodside, 25 through two. That's right, marks are even, and the lead is down to three for Academy Three. It's a tight one. Woodside off to the left, lucky to get seven. One, three, 10, spare chance. 
Surrett comes back for nine, eight rather. Couldn't see that seven pin, so it's the seven, eight left up. It's got wood in front, angled, I mean, high up rather. Wood side, missed number one. Surrett for a spare. Yes, and that puts him a chance to get the 400 now. Yeah, nice 10, 35 through three. Perfect so far, both ball is perfect. Ed has a 123 and a 118, his first two. Jeff, a 140 and a 157. Sitting at 30 and a ball through three here on the third from Exeter. Woodside crossing over off the wall, eight, nine. 10 pin tapped, not enough steam on it. Threads bonus right in the middle, 4 2 split. Disgusting. Looked like a 1 5 cent to Worcester. 34 through three. Woodside spare. 45 and a ball through four. Two marks for each side. Jeff, two and a four, got four. Wow. Three and the nine, excellent try again. What a year he's having, Bob. So after COVID, he didn't bowl as well since COVID. Now he's getting back this year to his old self. Eight that time, 42 through four. Easter Classic. March 31st, Greg Guillard on one lane covering 20 strings up there in the evening after church and family functions in the evening. Help out. March 31st, Lee Lane, Nash New Hampshire. I'll be bowling. You'll be bowling, Bob. I'll use your laptop set up again. Anchors away. Pete Crawford Jr. on a spare, his best start. And it's just four, 22 through two. That's his best start, believe it or not, tonight. Chris Provere strikes six and a 10. Now four in that first ball. Peter Crawford, got it, great shot. 32 in a ball through three, two in a row. Bovair, oh, he got his, two great shots. Outstanding, 36 in a ball through three. We'll go over the standings in just a moment. After the update from Bob Lee after this box. Peter Crawford Jr. five. 37 through three in the final string. Olvera's bonus on lane 10. Smooth ball, oh 10 my. strike! Two out of three. A big 20, 46 through three, 56 plus two through four, sizzling. Croft missed that second shot. A nice out, oh, eight, no. 45 through four. Update from Bob Lee. Well, it's now a two pin lead. That's, that's strike though in Exeter's hands. 239 to 237. We're trying to confirm all 10 of the scores right now. And they're looking good. I'll put them all up on the screen for a moment. John Vidro, 8, 3, 6, spare chance. JB, Jason Gauthier Jr., 1, 2, 7, 8. Jonathan has a 200 in his great career. Did it here in extra lanes in 2017. High triple, 491. Scores a 147, 176, 168 in Malden. Up the wall, that won't go. High five, 746 in Malden also. JB just missed that one. Scores have been confirmed, Paul. Jonathan 10, 55 through five. JB right on for a 10 himself. Strong start for him also. 64 half, I believe, is that right? Yep. 64 half. Jonathan part of the world championship team with Lucky Strike with Along with all the, a lot of the bowlers here, obviously, including Sean McKinley, filling in tonight. Jonathan in the pocket, eight, five and the seven, Wood rolls away. JB drops down 8.9, now it's nine. Trying to punch the seven down. And the Wood rests nicely. Jonathan just missed. Jonathan won the Easter Classic also in 2016. 
Uh oh. Katie Tapped missed that chance. Hit. Jonathan missed right for eight, 63 through six. JB gets it the second time after missing the first shot. 10 box. Pair of 10, three of the last four. Seventy-two is it, Bob? Seventy-four. Seventy-four. Seventy-four through six here in the third. Sean McKinley on a spare. Thirty-three and a ball through four. Scott Napier not on a mark. Fifty through four. Lead is still two plus that strike. One spare piece for each team. McKinley. All right. Got forgiving four. Phil. Four. Fourteen to ten. The optimists, optimists would say thirty-seven through four. Lap in the crossover, left of the head pin for a right hander. Three, five, six, triangle. Sean goes right. One, two, five, and seven left. Lapierre, spare. Okay, that's a big one. 60 half. Third mark of the string, the first, third, and fifth boxes. Doesn't like the even boxes, I guess. That's odd. McKinley is seven, 44 half. Academy three, trying to make a run. Only down a field goal here in the third. Trying to get two points. Total pretty much wrapped up for Exeter. Sean crossing over nine. Same spot takes at the five. Lapierre on the crossover himself. Strike oh, wow. on spare. 70 half, 80 plus two through six. Sean, got it to go. 54 the ball through six. Second spare in the last three. Scott, 80 plus two through six. All right, now the marks are even and the lead has changed. It's seven for Academy, a touchdown, Paul. Plus the point after. One strike, one spare for each side. Eric Pelletier fires away for a strike. He gets nine. Leads up to six. Haji for a strike. He gets eight. He has the five and seven. Would not much of a factor here. Eric from the mark. Right on it. Spare. 73 half plus one. Haji. Ooh, so close. Nine, 52 half. Max Brand, thanks for watching. Mitchell, thanks for watching as well. Up in Canada, some of the folks up in Canada, Maine watching. All across the country. A banana split, four, seven left, six, 10 right for Pelletier on the spare. How about a 79 half? Haji, spare chance, seven goals, one, two, generous leave. We're tied right now in the string, dead even. Pelletier trying to kick it over, spins it, oh my it. goodness! What Incredible a shot for a spare, shot. wow, nice. Haji answers back with a spare. Eric Pelletier on fire here in Exeter, 89, the ball through six. We got Haji 62 in the ball through six. We got a good fight on our hands, Paul. It's all square, 306 apiece. Marks are even. Two spares and a strike for each squad. Nothing like the great game of Candle and Bowling. Get the word out. Strike! Hammer time! <laughs> Nuclear bomb! Strike for Surrett. 52, half, half plus two. What a performance. Woodside six in the spare, 51 through four. Chops out the four seven. Jeff has five strikes in the match. Woodside missed for an eight. 59 half. Just past the halfway point of the final string of the match from beautiful extra lane, shooter sports club. 
What a great place to hang out. Large screen TVs, award-winning pizza, great wraps, burgers, all kinds of goodies, pretzels, a whole lot more. And especially lots of bowling. Yes. Surrett for double. It's he gone. It. Second double of the match. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Woodside for a strike. He gets nine. Six strikes the match for Surrett. Tuning up for the Easter Classic. Woodside just missed. Woodside missed the second, made the third, 10, 69 through six. And Exeter now has the lead. The power of the double strike once again yeah. for Jeff Surratt. Six plus, you know, that's, that's basically three balls. For Jeff going for, the, going for the free beer for me yeah. if he gets triple strike. He tanked the last time with an eight fill. <laughs> I'm trying to get an interview with Jeff Surratt one of these days. Mysterious. Yes. He's got to talk at the Hall of Fame, so. Give him some practice, early practice. Chris, 1-3-6 on a strike. Peter Crawford Jr. for a strike. The train takes the six down for a strike. Okay. Strikes galore here in the third. They're not done yet. Bovier going for a big 20, two full. Eight in the strike, 64 through four. Oh, Trying to stay perfect with the 10 box. Look at those black marks on the screen here. Over there. Object pin again. 9, 73, half. 13 pin lead the other way for Exeter right now. Three marks for each side, but a big double strike by Jeff Surratt next. Bovier, smooth ball, strike bit, eight on the crossover. Seven, the eight, Wood to help. Peter Crawford on the bonus, head pin hit, oh, seven. No. Seven left, five middle, nine right. On a strike also. Try and kick it over, he got it! 83 and a ball through six. Crawford trying to kick it over. Oh, sliced and diced it, but couldn't get to the seven. I caught the Jersey Mike shot. Nine on the fill. Great subs there. Got to get the sponsor us. 10 for Crawford, Jr. Bowling like himself here in the third. 74 through six. Look at an update as we go back to the top of the order. Final four box of the match. Bob Lee. Well. Unofficially, it is a 363 to 359 lead for Exeter. And uh, four marks are on the board, but one of them a double strike from Jeff Surrett against a strike and a spare for Academy 3. So four, four pins the lead. Advantage is going to grow probably by about uh, 20 more pins with all those fills. JB. Shoots down the left side. Boudreaux leads to 5 8 9. Six pins standing. He pops out the 1 8 9. Leaving a triangle. Boudreaux's got it. It's spare. Nine for JB. We'll be talking about Jeff Surrett or Chris Bovier at the end of the match. Lead up to five, but plus those all all yellow on the board. Marks for everybody. Actually, a double and a green double double strike for Surrett. JB on the crossover eight seven ten post. Jonathan on a spare is second one on the string. One split, two, four, and the ten. Eighty through seven. Eight two, right? 
Uh, 63 coming in, so 73 and 780 it should be. JB at the wood, the tango, somehow the seven does not. Unbelievable. Jonathan. It is 80, okay. Yep. Trying to get a 10 now somehow. JB in the 90s through 8. He gets a 9, so 90 through 8 it is. Jonathan trying to get one, takes the wood for the show one, does get the nine, 89 through eight on Candlepin Bowling Network. Again, the state tournament and championship matches April 8th to May 4th, the qualifiers, championship weekend, May 11th and 12th, coverage on Candlepin Bowling Network, or that weekend, the second of May, whatever day those two days are. Might be the 11th, yeah, the 11th and 12th. So sign up, $5,000 added by the New Hampshire Candlepin Bowling Association as well. Over 16,000 expected in prize funds. One in five entries cash. Call Extra Lanes or go to the website, go Celt at Comcast.net, G O C E L T at Comcast.net, or call Extra Lanes, 603 772 3856. 603 772 3856. New Hampshire State's coming here again to Extra Lanes next three years. So we'll have a four years in a row, had it last year. Okay, five on the spare fill for McKinley and nine on the strike fill for LaPierre. Academy three trying to get two points down here in the third. Scott gets to 10, 99 through seven. Slow motion 10 blocks for McKinley, 69 through seven. Well, I'll be at uh, KPN Lanes for the first time streaming. I've been there before, but not streaming. Hopefully the Wi-Fi will work there in Gloucester, Mass. Massachusetts State Tournament. Finals this weekend, 10 a.m. live on Canopy Bowling Network on YouTube in high def. That's right. Um, Four teams in the finals. Bowling two, two, three string matches, so it'll be two, two matches. And the winners will have it be, do a best two out of three. So the top two, actually, will be a best two out of three. I'm one string each. I'm not sure what to promise in terms of coverage, but I will be spending the night here in New Hampshire and, and bowling in the Luck of the Irish tournament that lead it tomorrow. Oh, that's right, Scott. Spins the wrong way. And then I'm going to be joining seven other bowlers as we go down to spare time for an overnight 10 stringer. Uh, so I could ask to do a 24 hour tournament at Oakland Park Bowling Center in Maine. Right, for Maine, Maine, but I couldn't. I just, the New Hampshire State weekend, so I can't do it that weekend. Hopefully, another time. And both of the 10. So yeah. Scott, 109 through 8. Sean McKinley, relief tonight, 79. Or is that 74? 79? I, yeah, 79 through 8. I, will probably, I don't think there will be an announcer, but I'll, I'll probably leave the, uh, my iPad running a live stream yep. during the overnight bowling. <laughs> Things will get silly. It's going to be a late you night. To, Facebook, you only do for six up. hours, though, before you sign, if the sign off go back in. They shut you down for six hours. I learned that during the overnight tournament, Russ Neely. I'll do it on YouTube. Okay, yeah, YouTube's much better, I think, as far as that goes. Diamond plus the seven for the Haji. That's on a spare five. 67 half is confirmed. Okay, and Pelletier, Pelletier six. 95 through six. Good try by Haji. That won't go. Eric oh, no. just missed the nine. Great bit. Stubborn nine pins hold up. Haji gets to go for a 10, 77 through seven. Seven's a wild for the captain. Eric used the wood and the ball hits the nine for a 10. 105 through seven here in the third. First man to 100. Thanks for watching well, folks. Actually LaPierre La is first man to 100 at 109. A good one next Friday night, one versus eight. Metro Bowl, Freshies team from Peabody, Mass. Travels to Central Park Lanes, East Boston, Mass. Take on Josh Daly's number one seed, Central Three. Live coverage on YouTube at 7.30 on Canopin Bowling Network. Haji, one seven ten, a diamond again, this time for Pelletier. Wood to help, he missed right. Pelletier is right. He has the three right, five left. 
Haji picks up the 10, 87 through 8. No marks on the board for Academy 3. Eric gets a 10, 115 through 8. Here comes Jeff Surratt. That's right. That's why I've been leaving the scores up. I wanted everybody to see that double strike coming up. He's going for his triple strike. Lead is only nine. It, it could have been a lot worse for that, Academy with it when, it when it was five marks to one. At Woodside, use some marks. One, two, seven, nine, ten. Jeff has a second crack at a triple strike. Six. Missed right. Six. He had eight the first time. The, that second string, right. double strike eight. Now double strike six. 26 in that double strike box. Woodside, big spare. 79 the ball through seven. Second ball in the double strike for Surrett. Only one. 17 in the second box. 68 half through four, rather. 68 through four. 85 half. A nine. Another spectacular string. 94 through seven. And he's going to go over 400 for the third consecutive week. They were in the finals last year against eventual champion Academy 2, now the fourth seed this year. Woodside on the spare, delivers nine. Well, that helped. That helped a lot. 88 through seven here in the third. Sered from the strike bid, six, seven. Four left, three, six right. Woodside right on it. Back to back. Four spear of the string. 98. Is that right? I believe so. 98 in the ball through eight. Surratt trying to kick it over. Right on the nose. One more pin for 400. With four blocks in hand. There it is. Nine. 103 is at 400 with two blocks to go. Ed Woodside fought him back and uh, kept that, that lead is only 11. You know, we, we saw when it was... A double strike and five marks to two. It looked like Exeter was about to take off, but so they got a Academy, chance. Academy held on. They hung on to the wheels. Peter Crawford having a good string so far. 74 and a ball through six. One, two, seven, eight. Chris Bovier, the only spare for his team. 83 and a ball. Just missed. Right, comes back to the two. Now the one goes through the back channel. Four, seven, nine. Not a fit. Head pin hit officially. What a half. Crawford missed inside. One left up. Chris, 90 through six. He has a 125 and a 118 his first two. Jeff had a 140, 157. 297 through two with that 103 through eight. He's at an even 400. For the fourth time this year in the 400 club and three in a row. Trying to spin that wood over. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Cruel game sometimes. Crawford gets the 10. 84 through 7. Winding down here in the match. Over takes two for nine. 99 through seven. After this box, an update from Bob Lee in our final 10 boxes of the match. Academy three looking for two points. Well, Down yeah, 17 I'm, right I'm now. Leave the whole scoreboard up there, Paul, so yep. everyone can see it's yep. 17 right now. Crawford has some wood to work with. Not gonna be easy. Five, eight in the middle plus the post. Over here, smooth ball for a strike. Eight, that looked good, didn't it? Oh, geez, wow, yeah, how'd that not go? Four on the nine. It's, it's possible to stretch it off the tip there. Crawford, you can't get the corner post. Time to pick your favorite pin for righty. Usually you go for, for the seven. Not, not all of them do. Get a ricochet there. For a spare. Oh, good try. Crawford. No good. Good integrity. Hit the wood first. Doesn't count. Eight. 92. Bulls call it. 92 through eight. Chris. Ten box. 
109 through 8. Final two marks of the match. Thanks for watching. Share with your friends and family. Get the word out about the great game of Caleb from Bowling. Update from Bob Lee. Okay, well, Academy staved off real trouble, but they're still trailing by 19 with 10 boxes to play. Basically a string. And there's only one mark on the board. That belongs to Ed Woodside in the four slot for Academy 3. So... A strike to cut the single, yeah. nine fill to cut the single digits. Basically, uh, yep, yeah. mark and a half. Jonathan, five, eight, ten. JB, right side six, one, two, four, ten. Wood to help, possibly to that corner pin the ten. Jonathan was third spare of the string. Excellent try, but too full. JB can't get the four to go. What was wrong with that shot? Jonathan, oh, a 116 first, a 140 second. Eight that time, 97 through nine. JB 10, gains two, 100 through nine. That cuts the lead to 17, Bob, right? Yep, 17 pin lead for Exit. Yep. Going for the sweep. Academy 3 has other ideas. Jonathan, another good ball. No split this time. Two in the four to help. JB can use Mark. Beautiful shot himself. He's at the 4 10 split, but that would be high. Right. Could help. That's not. That's really a one pinner. Really good chance. It's going to go straight across. John the first spare. Just missed. Trying to get to 107. Uh -oh. Just missed. Not by much. Jonathan, 11 spares, no strikes in the match. Trying to get to 109, and he does. 365. JB, good effort, nine. Jonathan gets a pin right. back. So that gets at 109. Is it 109? He's at 97 there, so that was a, uh, I think it's at 107. John, is that 109? Okay, it was eight. Okay, you're right, 107. I missed that. I couldn't see that. Okay. So 107 for Jonathan officially. So make it 363. And a 109. Is official for JB. All right, so JP 109. Okay. What did JPM for three, Bob? 321? Yep. All right. 18 pin lead for Exeter. One mark for Academy three. Eight boxes to go. Four and the 10 for McKinley. Out there. Slot one three ten could use it. <laughs> good try. No way. Didn't go. Went right in front of it. Sean gets nine. Eighty eight through nine. He's gonna try to get it back to seventeen pins down. Missed left for a nine. One eighteen through nine. Seven boxes to go. Still eighteen. Minus the ball. Great job, Bob, as always. The technology, the score cam. Couldn't do it without you. Well, Greg, we are. Five middle, four, seven left from McKinley. Can turn that wood around. Lap year. Just missed the pocket. Comes back for the three, one, ten. Manageable spare chance. Yep. Very vivid. All right. Piece dropped down into the gutter, but. They're about two marks behind in the string. Big time shot here from McKinley. Oh. After on the four, missed the wood pin. The wood carried it, but not the four. That yeah, got, got it to go. Hit the ten. A treetop spare. One twenty-eight in the ball. Two marks to none. Can cut it to single digits. McKinley ten ninety-eight. 98 final string. 305 for three. Oh, 
Seven spears in the match. Not looking for a big 20 here. In the pocket, nine. That close to a strike. 137, final string in relief. Another fine performance. 137, that gives him, let's see, 37, 246, I have 383. Yep, 383. Good at math, nothing else, usually. That's Even what then. That's the computer says, too. Eric <laughs> Pelletier, 4, I am not AI. <laughs> Haji, left side, 136, not bad considering. One mark to none for Academy, three down nine. Pelletier, great shot, spins around but won't go. Excellent try. Haji's chance, hooked right. Again, leaves number one up. Just not as crisp tonight. Eric dunks it for an eight. 123 through nine, another fine performance by Eric Pelletier. Haji trying to gain, does not. Well, he did gain one. 96 to 9. It's 8 pin lead. And they got a spare on the board. Close to a virtual tie. Exo's going to get six points. He got total in hand. Five blocks to go. Eric, beautiful ball. 8, 9. Oh, nine pin left up. Wood taps it before it goes in the pit. Haji finds the pocket. He gets six. Two, five, seven, ten. That's the Amanda Carroll shot. She made the women's doubles bet last year to make it to the finals. With the wood, Eric steals it. He'll take it. That was, I think that was intended. Yep, yep, sure was. 123 in a ball. Haji, oh, wow, what a shot for a spare. Match game PM, 106 in the ball. Four boxes plus a bonus ball left. A thriller here at Exeter. Six Columbus have. Check out Shooter Sports Bob, award winning pizza, wraps, great food, great people, and 12 beautiful Kennepin old fashioned wooden lanes. Okay. Eric, five in the fill. Five. How about a 138, third string? 396. Oh. Haji, beautiful ball. He gets seven. Nice finish, great. 113. On, Quick update from Bob Lee, four oh. boxes to go. Well, that draws it close at six pins. Minus a ball. That ball is in the right hand of Ed Woodside on lane 10. He'll be bowling right after Jeff Surrett, who stands at 400. Good night. This is more we're expecting tonight. Surrett, four. Seven to take the lead for Academy three, trying to get two points. Thin hit left, four. Lead is two for Exeter. Okay. 102 through 8. Red Hot Jeff Surrett just missed. Left, not by much. 178 in the 400 club already. Woodside just missed by a smidge. 147. Got to go for the short two here, Bob. That's right. Surrett just missed for a rare 7. 110 through 9. He's at 407 with a box to go. Woodside again with an 8. 110 through 9. The lead is five. One. 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 That's right. He has four. Four. One pin lead for Exeter. Final three boxes. A good one. Thanks for watching. Share with your friends and family. Surrett. Pocket shot. Comes back for the five. The seven goes. Great opportunity. Friendly Wood in front of the 6 10. Woodside crossing over. A kick off the wall is a 3 5 6 triangle. About a 45% success rate without wood for Pro Bowlers. Stats by Candle Bowling Network. Sered, spare. Right. 120 in a ball in the 10th. Woodside can't get the five to go. Nudged it. Go. Wow. Okay. Ed gets the 10. One pin lead plus Sered's ball. 120 for the Rock. Ed Woodside. 361. Three spares, one strike in the strength of Surrett. 11 spares, five strikes. 
Okay, that was a uh, uh, six great strikes ball, or five, but five strikes for him in the match. Was a six. Six, six strikes. Six. Nice finish. This lead is seven. Four twenty-three is third week in a row. Four hundred. Four fifty-four. Four oh eight. Now four twenty-three. His fourth. A three sixty-one for Ed Woodside tonight. Yeah. Final two boxes. Seven pin lead for Exeter. Whisper quiet here. Bovera crossing over seven five nine seven. Not going to be easy. Crawford needs a mark. Oh no! Spread eagle plus eight of all times. Pins just gave him a bird. And he's got to work out of this mess, and hopefully it's up in the tenth. Benjamin Bovair, five and the seven. Crawford trying to go three and a four. Excellent try. Got four of the seven. Four, seven, eight. It's coming down to the final box of the match. You got the hardest one in the spread eagle, the, the two pin to cross. Chris, eight. 117. Crawford, a nine. Gains a pin. 101 through nine. Jeff, a Chris, rather, 117 through nine. Final box. It's a four pin lead for Exeter. Six. Six? Yep. Six pin lead. Sorry, I might say it. Six. Six pin lead for Exeter. Crawford Jr. needs a mark. Final box. Beauvert. Four, one split, three, one split. One, three, six, seven. It is makeable. Crawford must mark. And it's not oh, going to be easy. Two left, Tough six slip. right. Has to get it somehow. Cruel game. Does not make it. Extra sweeps. He goes to 16 and 8 on the season against Academy 3. Both here to wrap it up. Couldn't get there. Boy, he gave it a great bid. Crawford has to get this to get two points, potentially. Knew it right away. Extra takes all eight points tonight. Heartbreaking finish for Academy 3 on the road. We'll talk to Chris Fauvier after the match is over. And nice out, 10. What a string. 128. Peter Crawford, 8. 109. And that checks out. Let's yep. get the scores from Bob Lee. Well, those those do match what they were keeping track of up there. I'm gonna put their full scores up on the board. 380 for Chris Bovair. Yeah. Some fine performances. Eric Pelletier, three. Let's see, Eric Pelletier, 396 was it? Yep, they're up up here on the board. Okay. We'll talk to uh, Chris Bovair in just a moment before we sign sure. off. I want to thank you for watching this great game of Bowling. 1857 to 1707 Exeter. With a with a 150 pin victory, just eight in that last game for the sweep. All right, Jeff Weston to the score. Actually, he's going to talk to us, I think, for the first time. How about that? Finally broke him, huh, Bob? <laughs> we'll see. We'll talk in just a moment. So, Bob, what a performance! Some of these bowlers, some great scores. Yeah. Run down the scores verbally if you can for the viewers. If they yeah, can't sure. See the screen. If you can't see the screen. We had uh, for, for three for three. We had. Uh, J.B. Gothier, 321, Scott LaPierre, 383, Dave Haji, 315, Ed Woodside, 361, Peter Crawford, 327. For Exeter, Jonathan Boudreau, 363, Scott McKinley, 305, Eric Pelletier, 396. Our top bowler, Jeff Surrett, 423, Chris Wavera with a 370. Once again, Scott LaPierre fills in, does a great job. Um, Nice performance for Scott. We're going to talk to the bowlers before we sign off in just a moment. Right. Yeah, well, Scott. Don't forget, next Friday night, the Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week on Canoff Bowling Network. Number eight, Metro travels to Central Park Lanes right. 3. Take on Josh Daly's number one team. One versus eight, Friday night, March 29th, live on Canoff Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. We'll have to talk to the bowlers just a moment. So we wrap up the official scores. 
Bob, what's some great, great bowling tennis and great it was, shots? It was. It was. Uh, you know, yeah, someone had to lose, I guess. And uh, in, in this case, e Exeter was uh, was on fire, playing on almost all cylinders. Not, you know, I've seen a couple, a couple better, not many. In this all without Captain Dave Barber tonight, yeah, also that's, that's right. a good luxury to win eight points without your captain. 1850, you know, they're, they're averaging, uh, what was that, 120? Right. We'll we'll use your headset, I'll talk to Jeff. Yep. So right here. Yep. All right, Jeff, I, I finally broke you, Jeff. You're doing an interview finally. <laughs> this it's could be against a, my will. I know, it's a tune-up for the Hall of Fame introduction ceremony a few years from down the road, okay? For three weeks to over 400, you're in a zone. You're in a different world this year. What's been the difference between this year and last year? When you come back from COVID, you were struggling during COVID. You just weren't quite the yeah, same. This uh, year, you're on just fire. Just figuring out the form. Yeah. And the pins are falling over, so that helps. How about that strike you got earlier, that slow motion strike? Yeah, that was fast. <laughs> they were all fast. <laughs> Two double strikes tonight, six strikes in the match. You're peaking at the right time for your team, and uh, trying to get that title this year. Second time around, trying to get to the finals. Yeah, I mean, all, all we can do is take points and, uh, you know. Hopefully they lose some points and we'll catch up. You're tuning up for the Easter Classic going, what, number six is it now? Number six? Easter Classic, you've hit five, right? Yes. How are you feeling right now physically for the Easter Classic? <laughs> pretty, pretty good. All right. Pretty good. Congratulations Thank for you. winning eight big points. Yeah, yeah, we'll take it. All right, thanks. Talk to Chris Bovia, too, before we sign yeah, off. All right, Jeff says I owe him, so I'll owe Jeff a beer for doing the interview, I guess. Wow, uh, that guy's pretty good. Huh? All right, isn't he pretty? You're not too bad yourself. Uh, no, that guy's pretty good, though. When you guys needed shots, oh, sorry, when you needed shots, you got them tonight. It was it's a hard-fought match. That's that's a good team over there, and, you know, we, we did what we needed to do at the end of the day, and a win is a win. We'll take it. And you split no the first two matches point-wise, 8-8 eight eight, coming into this match with them this season. Yes, here, there, here. Yep. Yeah, so maybe yep. they destroyed us at their yeah. place. Hundred percent. I remember that day. I wish I didn't remember that day, <laughs> but I remember that day. Yes, I do. None of that beers on that, I guess. Uh, talk about. Oh your no, there was plenty, but <laughs> they had, I think, three guys over four hundred. Yeah, that was tough. Your team is always up in the running. Well, how does your team? It's the chemistry. Always is so big in every team. It's it's so important. How big has the chemistry in your team been over the years? You know what? We have fun. We gel. We're all friends. It's it's totally different when you can just have a team and just have fun with it. Yeah. And you know what? Not for nothing, but when we have fun, we're pretty dangerous. You did without the Captain Dave Robert tonight. Are you going to tell yeah, Dave to stay home next week? Girls night out are you, you going to tell Dave to stay home the rest of the season now? No, I mean, he's pretty good too. <laughs> I'll take him. Uh, he is kind of the captain as well, so <laughs> he could replace all four of us. I mean, it'd be dumb, but... Yeah. Maybe maybe just one of us, like right. me. But How about a three-letter word for winning eight points to none? Wow. Okay, Bob Lee to wrap it up. Thanks, thanks Chris. Thanks, Paul, and thank, thanks, every, everyone who stayed tuned in. We'll see you next week. Uh, Metro Park. at Central Park 3. Yeah, that's right, Metro at Central Park 3.